Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dads, yeah. you know, dads. <laughs> like, where was my cool things? Like, what? When you dad, like, oh, sorry, diaper. <laughs> exactly. Uh, now going going places now it's a bit different. You have all your stuff, not really your stuff. But yes, yes, yes. The full bag of the baby clothes and yeah, baby stuff. Yeah, and all that. Diapers yeah. especially. My goodness. How was the first episode of podcast? First episode? First episode was actually um, last last year with the first season. <coughs> that was with, with Ken Palm. Mm-hmm. Ken Palm. So I told him. But he, you started from Ken Palm, right? Yeah, I started from Ken Palm. And I told him if it works, it's on you. If it doesn't, it's on you. <laughs> Put responsibility. <laughs> Smart. And and, uh, and 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 I got the same accountability with the um with the lie. Then there's a lady lie. Uh, I, I think you must have seen a podcast. Yeah, she she wears the giant kersha. Like I would love to watch all podcasts, but the problem is like mostly you're speaking in Kasi, so I'm like yeah yeah, okay. yeah 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 true true true. Oh yeah, I think we 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 haven't had uh, an English speaking podcast even from here, mm-hmm. yeah. right? So get ready to get comments like Marine speakers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are we uh, rolling yet? Hey, uh, are you? Like Oh, it's already rolling. Oh, it's already recording. Yeah, it's already <laughs> recording, and okay. you already uh, you've already been recorded. Okay, all this while. Season uh, And um, we have with us a very special guest. Um, I'm 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 really grateful for having um, uh, our friend here uh, to kickstart the season. And this is the first episode of season two, and we have none other than Marina herself. Thank you, Marina, yeah. for your time. Thank you for inviting. <laughs> <laughs> Even I don't invite myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually I had I had called you. I I'm, yeah. I mean I, mean, I, I did mention you, mm-hmm. uh, that we we're gonna have a podcast since yeah, yeah. since last year, right? Yeah, so I think year. twice time we planned and then something happened. Yeah, I actually I had um, contacted Kentio. Mm-hmm. I told him if you know. You guys can be here. She's like, no, no, wait, wait. I'm not ready yet, and all that. <laughs> yeah, Kintu is the person who, uh-huh. he, he, like, he's trying to escape the camera as much uh-huh. as he can. Yeah. So that's why I'm here alone here <laughs> today. Well, I mean, is that is that the reason why? Um, uh, I mean, uh, earlier when when you guys started the the your YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Not really started, but you started uploading most of your videos on YouTube. Mm-hmm. You have more of Kintio speaking and all that. Now he's like trying to, you know, mm. be behind the camera and all that. Is it? Is this why? Uh, that was the situation. Uh, he started very excited first, and then um, there was a lot of comments, like mm-hmm. hate comments, mm-hmm. why he's not speaking Kasi. But we have like we're targeting not only Kasi mm-hmm. uh, audience, we're targeting on the also from uh, like different parts of India. We have friends, we have family from Russia, we have mm-hmm. friends from all over around, and of course English. This is the language they can understand. Right. But I think all this hate comments kind of affected Kintu. So mm-hmm. he's like, you know what? I don't want to speak anymore because mm-hmm. if in case he speaks, mm-hmm. uh, he. In the beginning, he mm-hmm. was getting a lot of like hate comments, like "Why are you speaking English, not Kasi?" But but so actually, you 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 guys did uh, keep um, these uh, Kasi subtitles right on in, the in be- those previous yeah videos. in the beginning we did yeah. a lot and now it's just it, it takes a lot of time so right, right. that's why we stop yeah I understand even even with, with my videos and my, my channel I I do it mostly in Kasi mm-hmm. and uh, um, a few of my friends. Uh, the non kasi friends i i would get these messages from time to time even in the comment sections why don't you do it in you know if you don't speak in english why mm-hmm. not just give subtitles at least if we can just understand what you're trying to say what you're trying to do in your videos um uh, a few times i tried mm-hmm. uh, maybe with with the videos with the simpler videos you know those simple ones where you just go places show things and then done but if uh, if uh, there are a few kind of uh, a conversation happening and all that, that is a bit hectic because yes, you'll have yes. to translate what the other person is also saying. No, yeah. 
and uh, that way it kind of uh, you know it 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 helped me back in doing things so what i'm trying to do now not successful yet but what <laughs> i'm trying to do now is actually add some english i mean uh, speak some english uh, mm -hmm. in 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 the video at least they should get what i'm i'm trying to do at, at least, least to give in, that context. yeah yeah mm -hmm. in context maybe at the beginning of the video in the middle and maybe at the end mm -hmm. um i'm trying i'm still trying but uh, yeah but i i think that that should be I, that must be the problem with with kendio also i think yes yes but eventually it's just important to do whatever you want to do whatever mm -hmm. you feel like doing otherwise if you're trying to like please everyone yeah people want different things and then exactly. you will end up nowhere so yeah. it's just important to listen for me at least mm -hmm. i'm listening to people who is more successful than me mm -hmm. in this particular topic mm -hmm. if it's like this then i'm happy to listen i will ask advice but if just people from you know like they just giving their perspective you can but <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah, right i don't have to listen i don't have to follow the instruction because first i need to see a result if result this is what i want mm. then i follow if not then i don't <laughs> yeah yeah i think that that's better yeah so um i i think that um, that, that is very important um, when it comes to creating all these things uh, online you know having a lot of people watching you mm -hmm. having a lot of people trusting in your content and what you do it is very important at least uh, for everyone out there including us to stay true to what we do not really you know i'm i'm not saying we we don't have to listen to people mm -hmm. but uh, suggestions are suggestions but not to be carried away by all those suggestions and advice yes 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 we still need to understand our own way and uh, if people's advice is fitted mm -hmm. uh, like why not right right but in the same time there is you know different kind of comments sometimes yeah. people trying to give you kind of caring comment mm. but you can feel that pressure yeah but there's a lot of people who support who gives a good vibe and mm -hmm. i think that's this is the reason why i like to create content and just like be online because there's i would, my my audience is just the best honestly speaking i love them <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> all right so anyway tom Tell us a little bit about Marina. Who is Marina? Oh, Marina. How are in what sense? How how do you pronounce it? It's Marina or Marina or how? Um, is, is Marina. It? Marina. Marina. Yes. All right. Okay. So, who is Marina? Um That's a very deep question. <laughs> <laughs> you said you didn't get Look, ready in this is, I'm not I'm not I, I, I didn't think of that question. <laughs> But I'm just, I'm just thinking about the audience. So maybe they they would want to know more more than maybe uh the uh, the, the stories and the content that you post uh, almost every single day. But who is Marina? Okay, I would say that um I would say that I'm a fighter. Mhm. Mm you know, um All my life I want something bigger. Mm -hmm. I really believe that uh, God created me for the great things to do. And that's why um I'm just enjoying going to new um things to do for me. Mm -hmm. Um and uh, for me it's very important to inspire others. So and this is what I also want to show through my content mm -hmm. when I'm creating. For now, like I can say that I'm a wife, I'm a daughter, I'm a Christian, I am a blogger, YouTuber. Uh and um through I think through vlog, through YouTube or Instagram, for me it's important to inspire people mm -hmm. to maybe show some example because i'm going through a lot of things mm -hmm. and i just want to inspire people that even you can go mm -hmm. even you can uh uh grow mm -hmm. even you can do whatever you never thought that you can do mm 
Mm-hmm. I don't know. Does it make sense? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. That was very deep yeah. question. I'm yeah. like, I, I got lost. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> I'm impressed with myself. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I always, I think, I always did um, think about myself as a fighter. Mm-hmm. Uh, not f- physically. <laughs> I mean, I can fight physically. I did few <laughs> times also. Yeah. <laughs> Tell but... me about it. <laughs> oh, you really want to know? No, no, no. no. Okay, okay, carry on, carry on. <laughs> I, I did fight uh, once in a um, in a train in Russia. There was a guy who was trying to like. I'm very protective mm-hmm. when it comes to my close people. Mm-hmm. I will not think about myself. Mm-hmm. So there was uh, one moment when one uh, drunk guy, he mm-hmm. tried to approach very hardly my uh, sister mm-hmm. and I had to fight. You fought him? Yes. What did you do? Exactly? I pushed him very hard. So uh-huh. he fell down. From the train or inside no, the train? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because... <laughs> Otherwise no, I would be in jail now. <laughs> the moment you said fighting in a train in Russia... All these uh, <laughs> Russian films and, 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 yeah, and yeah. the action movies are coming to my head. <laughs> yes, yes. But this is like very um, kind of common thing in Russia. You, uh-huh. you, you have to know how to fight. Right. It doesn't matter if you girl or man or old woman or it doesn't Why matter. Why so? Um, because I would say that at, like you need to know how to protect yourself. Because atmosphere compared to here, mm-hmm. uh, not long time back, someone asked me, like, what did Megala teach you? Mm-hmm. And I said, people here are so kind, like, I'm learning kindness here. Mm-hmm. How sometimes people talk to each other, like um, total strangers, mm-hmm. how they uh, speaking. I'm, I think in the day, friends, mm-hmm. like my husband just talking to um, shopkeeper. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know him? He's like, no. Or like on the road, he saw someone. He's like, you know, very nicely talking. I'm like, are you friends? He's like, no, no. It's just like I saw him for the first time. I'm like, mm-hmm. how come? Like, why are you talking like that? Because in Russia, we hardly talk. Oh. And uh, we always kind of, um, because I'm from Moscow, no? It's mm-hmm. a big city where a lot of scammers. So people are very, you know, you have mm-hmm. to be ready to protect yourself if, if needed. Mm-hmm. So that that's why. Interesting, interesting. Then <clears throat> I think um, I must advise um, our viewers uh, before going to Russia, you need to learn some Kung Fu, some uh, <laughs> detective, uh, you know. <laughs> my my advice, don't smile much in Russia. If, if you go to Russia. Really? Yeah. I mean, if, for example, you're asking like, um, how can I get here and there? Uh-huh. If you say, excuse me, how people will be like, why are you smiling? For real? Like, Yes. And then people will be watching this podcast in Russia. So I so I can't smile much. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> people who will watch, it means they know English. It uh-uh. means that they're okay. Okay. Because <laughs> few, few Russians, they are like dangerous. No? <laughs> I think, I think it, it, it must have been a culture shock for you when you reached here for the first time. Yes. Yeah, that was definitely, that was huge cultural shock. I remember that was, I was in Nagaland and mm-hmm. I we were living in uh, Patkai Christian College. Mm-hmm. And then every time I'm going outside to uh, like just for a walk or we're going to buy something or badminton, whatever it is. And I'm like walking and uh, students like, hi, ma'am. <laughs> like, you don't know me. Why are you saying hello? So that was so shocking for me and I was so stressed that sometimes I used to hide if I see people coming. Uh-huh. I would like pretend like I'm talking by phone or going change the direction because for me that was so unusual. I'm like, mm-hmm. why are you talking to me? Like I couldn't digest this. I couldn't understand. Mm-hmm. So, but after I think two, three months, because if in Russia someone talking to you, mm-hmm. it's like they kind of... Um, mm, involve you in the convers like more conversation we don't right. we don't just high by yes yes that. yes we don't high by we don't smile when we look at each other's face because this all uh considered as disturbance mm-hmm. like we don't want to disturb others See. even if i look at you suddenly right i will never <clears throat> smile i will do like this like i didn't see anything to not disturb you so that's why whenever they try to interact with me i'm like what do you want and I couldn't understand. They just saying hello. Mm-hmm. That's it. But after, yeah, after three, four months, I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that was funny moment. 
when I, um, uh, after six months spending in India, uh, in airport already about to go home, I'm entering the plane and just walking to get to my seat mm. and there's a lady sitting and it happens that I look to her eyes and I just automatically smile. I spent six months in India. It's like mm. nothing is wrong with smiling. You don't, mm. you don't have to do anything. You just smile. Mm. And she's like this. She's just turning around. She did. She's like, <laughs> like she didn't see me at all. I'm like, oh, yes, I'm going to Russia. This is already kind of Russian atmosphere. Yeah. And when I came for two weeks, I'm not joking. I was scared. For uh -huh. two weeks, I was going to shopping small and I felt like I'm not safe at all. Because mm -hmm. people, you know, you kind of feel that energy and that atmosphere that people are ready to protect themselves. Where exactly? When you went back to Russia? Yes, yes, yes. Right. Like when I'm going to shop and I'm like, if I will do something wrong, I will mm. get. Mm. And I'm like... Six months I wasn't in Russia. I really got used to life in India. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember Russian rules, how to live. After two weeks, I'm like adjusted again. And I'm like, again, my Russian face, not smiling, <clears throat> running here and there. So <laughs> so can, can we say that we, uh, you got this um, face of, uh, you know, who you are now? Is it from India or, or mixed with somewhere else? I, I, you must have been to different parts of the world. Also, yeah, I mean, um, with friends, I've always been like this, mm -hmm. like smiling and all fun. But like that I can smile outside right now. It's mm -hmm. definitely from India. <laughs> it's like 100 percent. I got it from India. So, um, yeah, Indian people are smiling people. huh? Yes, very kind. Uh, Russians are friendly as well, mm -hmm. but it's just in their own way. They're very kind also in the same time. But this is uh, an... They will not be very kind to like strangers, maybe, mm -hmm. especially in the big cities, because there is a lot of scams. No, they don't know. There's people coming from here and there, and that's yeah. why people are scared. I mean that that wouldn't. I, I'm I'm not surprised because even uh, when we also go to big cities here, uh, if you go to the mainland of India, <clears throat> we do feel such kind of discrimination. Not discrimination, but. Uh, uh, we kind of feel uh, out of place and left out, uh, you know, um, among the crowd because here we can just, you know, roam around and just be ourselves and then, uh, like you said, smile at anybody and just say hi to a stranger and all that. But there it's kind of like, okay, it's a new place. You don't really know anyone. Mm -hmm. Though it's still the same country, you're still the citizen of this country. But because of the, uh, maybe the culture of the environment, of the atmosphere, uh, like you said, maybe people are, you know, uh, in a big city, people are coming from everywhere, from all types of background. <clears throat> so not really that people are, uh, you know, unlike Shillong, unlike uh, Meghalaya or Shillong, a small town where, where most of people are lo locals and uh, you have a few tourists coming in and out. So I feel like... Uh, being out there in a big city, in a big place as Moscow, I think it would be scary of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so um, um, you having been here in uh, India for how many years now? Um, two and a half. Okay, continuously. Continuously. I two came and a half. 2021. Mm -hmm. Uh, on October. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So two and a half. So but be before I was uh, living in Siliguri mm -hmm. for three months, three and a half. And before that, I was living in Nagaland for six months. I see, I see. So since then, you, you haven't been home yet, right? Uh, I ha No, no, no. I, I haven't been home since I came to Megala two and a half years ago. Well, there was a moment when I like, came to Nagaland, I was living for six months. Then mm -hmm. I came back home uh, for one year maybe. Then again three months in Siliguri, again, like almost two years at home. Mm -hmm. And finally now, haven't been home yet. You're looking forward? Everybody. I'm looking forward, yes. So uh, anytime soon? Uh, hopefully summer, <clears throat> yeah, because even Kintu didn't meet my my parents yet. So oh. yeah, face to face, they didn't. They're very excited to see him. Mm -hmm. They like, and they're very supportive of 
they love him so much i can't tell you <laughs> <laughs> so uh, in these two um, over two years you staying here in meghalaya how has it been the journey um i like living here um how to say i was saying to us so many times already <laughs> mm-hmm. about this how to say um i have a home wife here and um mm-hmm. uh, that's why <clears throat> when people ask me if i miss russia mm-hmm. i miss like some food items mm-hmm. i miss my family um uh, my parents and sisters and brother uh but i feel absolutely okay here because i'm very much accepted mm-hmm. um uh, i have here my husband his family is also very welcoming like they also love me i love them so we have good relationship and um uh, yeah overall i think i'm f- learning the culture mm-hmm. a lot of things now Uh, in the beginning that was some things was very difficult to understand for me mm-hmm. like i was super like frustrated and i didn't understand what's going on sometimes like even what comes to time in right like whenever we set up that time for meeting and then people are being late and like i don't understand this because in russia already for 10 minutes you already like <clears throat> have to have proper excuse and here's mm-hmm. like very casually yes ca- it's okay like you can say i'll come for but some people are very punctual mm-hmm. but a uh, majority is like taken very easy mm-hmm. so and in the beginning that was very difficult for me to adjust mm-hmm. but now uh, i can Uh, yeah yeah now not <laughs> even i start to be lean you know <laughs> so um uh, yeah a lot of things in the beginning i was very confused about now i just you know learning and keep keep looking at people even you know what when i just came mm-hmm. i was very straightforward i was like no means no mm-hmm. yes means yes you know like Like the just fr- straight to, to the, the point. The Russian kind of. Yes, yes, yes. Like yeah. I don't like I didn't understand why I have to explain some things. Like mm-hmm. if I just say no, for example, right? Mm-hmm. And then Kintu used to say like, Marina, you're too harsh. Marina, be. I'm like, but what I used to like, uh, kind of argue with him about that. Mm-hmm. Like, no, I'm just. And he's like, I understand, but it's not how it works here. Mm-hmm. I'm like, how does it work here then? So I didn't understand the concept. But the more I uh was uh, the more I'm living here the more I see how it works mm-hmm. and I start to understand not like someone tell me how it's supposed to be mm-hmm. but I I observe myself I see how people communicate mm. um I s- blend in yes 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 and I start to feel it the mm. the culture I start to feel it and uh, uh now I remember um uh, to my sister came uh and i i understood what kintu meant mm-hmm. after being here for one and a half two years two and a half years i kind of pick up that um culture somehow like mm-hmm. the, the you know the vibe and then my sister came with that russian you know thing mm-hmm. and i'm like you have been too rude <laughs> 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 and i'm like okay now i understand what kintu meant I... that moment like just came like from my own country mm-hmm. i couldn't understand like why it works like this here mm-hmm. but like just observing being here i'm like okay finally i got it finally I understand much more of course there is you know more thing to learn mm-hmm. uh long way to go but um uh, now i feel much more comfortable here um even like with culture with food i did adjust right away <laughs> <laughs> I mean our food is very simple in, in that way. But um <clears throat> why uh, I'm I'm a little curious about um uh you know your stay here for these over two years. Um it's not really that you came from another country and you're adjusting yourself here. But also on top of that you are a content creator and you are always there online. So people don't only see you offline maybe mm-hmm. in the locality you know where you stay and all that but also people know you 
online and very popular also that way. So how is this, you know, you adjusting to the atmosphere, to the to the audience? And I'm I I'm pretty sure you you're not new to the digital space mm-hmm. even back home. You've already have had your followers and <clears throat> And, uh, and and people who followed you and followed your mm-hmm. content uh, even before Meghalaya, before the YouTube thing and before uh, creating content here in Meghalaya. Mm-hmm. So how how did that, uh, you know, transition from the Russian, you know, viewership and audience to now having this local audience? And how, how did it, uh, if it had affected you, how did it affect you? If it had, uh, you know... Uh, boost your maybe your brand your personal brand how how is it um i started i decided to be a blogger uh maybe eight nine months before i came to india i see and my idea was to be a russian blogger for russian <clears throat> audience uh share about my life in india we have um uh, Bloggers like this, so some of them are living in U.S., some of them are living in Africa, different different countries, and they're sharing like, okay, this is how life out there, like mm-hmm. out of from like from Russia, and uh, it works like very well. People are interested. Mm-hmm. So I did share first uh, because I had a problem to um, enter India because mm-hmm. that was COVID time. There was yeah, no tourist yeah. visa, so we had to go the long way and. I start from sharing, okay, I have a fiancé, I need to get to India. And uh, mm-hmm. my Instagram was about journey, uh, <clears throat> about other things also, but also about the journey, how I'm getting visa. I was sharing with everything. There was a lot of people who were like watching and supporting. Uh, but that moment when I decided to be a blogger, I had something like 400, mm-hmm. 400 500 followers. And uh, I talked to Kintu first because to be a blogger, it's a big thing. It mm-hmm. takes a lot of time. So I had to make sure that Kintu is also supporting me in that. And he's like kind of give me his blessing for that because it obviously will affect even <clears throat> our um, family mm-hmm. um, somehow. Like it will take time um, for me. And then uh, I start to grow like that was slowly, slowly, slowly. And then I came to India and um, I got Russian followers. Mm -hmm. I think that was around like 1,000 or 1,200. Like it's just boosted. Like that moment when I came to India, I was showing India, like not Indian wedding, sorry, like Hasi wedding, Mm -hmm. like how it is go like my, and I was showing everything like life. Mm -hmm. So I'm like in a wedding dress. I'm like, okay, here I am and these people who I don't even know who they are, just see them for the first time and they're making me ready for the wedding. Mm-hmm. So, and that was, uh, people were very interested. <clears throat> I got like huge reach that moment. Um, and then I was just continuing with Russian, but uh, somehow uh, that our pictures from the wedding, pictures and videos, because that was in my husband's village, Pankung. Mm-hmm. So people were taking pictures and videos and they were uploading and it just went kind of, viral mm-hmm. uh how we understood that it's viral that that was the moment when after waiting next day or day after that we went to restaurant to buy food mm-hmm. and they're like oh we know you we saw you like pictures and Even status yeah you 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 s- <laughs> and we're like okay we just enter like <clears throat> random restaurants like mm-hmm. oh you those guys who like got married recently mm-hmm. like yes it's like yeah i saw your pictures and that's how I start to get the um, local followers. And first, I didn't even pay attention because I was fully focused on the Russian audience. I'm like, okay, uh, my maybe some of my followers, maybe some of you, <laughs> remember how I was. Like people who just follow me right from the beginning. I have those people. I I know, you know, I know them. <laughs> I know their names. Even like we're chatting till now. Mm-hmm. Uh, because they were kind of first, and that's how we got to, you know, in touch, like, uh, more. So, and um, I was only do- doing in Russian, and my uh, audience from here started to grow more and more. But I'm like, okay, if you want to follow me, you can follow, but, like, I'm a Russian blogger. Mm. 
but then I was talking to my uh, mentor and uh, I don't remember how exactly, but uh, he got to know that I have uh, like already 50 or 60 percent of uh, followers from here. And he's like, why you don't don't you shift to English? I'm like, my English is not even good. Like, I'm not confident in English. I <clears throat> till now I'm making mistake till now people are correcting me. <laughs> but that moment I'm like, no, no, I'm I don't want. But then he said, I think you should think about this because mm. there's the people who is following you and you can give something to them. Why not? And I'm like, okay. And then that was very scary because I had to take my phone in the beginning. I, I'm I'm very confident. I became very confident with the uh, like videos, stories, but in Russian. Mm -hmm. But here I need to speak in English, like mm -hmm. and for people who I don't even know. So that was a challenge, but uh anyway I did it. And uh yeah, it's just start to grow more and more and more. And yeah, till now it's <clears> growing. <laughs> So that that's how it transitioned from Russian to Indian and Meghalaya. <laughs> yes, century. yes, yes. It so, just went very naturally. So right now, um, um, uh, when speaking of YouTube and maybe Instagram put together, um, how many percentage of Russian that you have, or maybe you know, from their followers and from here? I think I Can have about um. What comes to Instagram about three percent, three or four percent of Russians only. Yes. Oh. So that's why uh, uh, that was a uh, you know the transition moment when mm -hmm. I was trying to do it and in English mm -hmm. and in Russian, mm -hmm. maybe about two weeks. But mm -hmm. then it's like it's very difficult to do it on two languages. Mm -hmm. And eventually, I just shifted to English. And of course, Russian people mostly they don't speak English, so that's why. Uh, some friends who is who knows English, <coughs> they follow me and they watch. Uh, or people who just loves me, no matter what, they don't understand what I'm talking about, but they just watch. Like, mm -hmm. okay, at least we we know what's going on with you. And there's a you know there's a button translate. Like I see. Sometimes it gives very weird options and like you know that very weird translation, but mm -hmm. somehow they manage to understand. So how 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 popular is English there then? I mean, how frequent do people use English in Russia? I think um, if you go speak to Moscow, and I'm talking about Moscow, big city, mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. then maybe two people out of ten will somehow speak oh. English. Otherwise, no. People don't speak. So which means um, if uh, I happen to be in Russia, I need to know at least a word or two. Yes, yes, yes. Or have internet and translator with you. Mm -hmm. Because you see, <clears throat> for example, in India, right? Mm -hmm. People are using English language, like mm -hmm. also one of the... Um, official language. Yeah, field, official language to communicate. Mm -hmm. In Russia, it's only Russian. In Russian, we in Russia, we are learning English in school. Mm -hmm. And this is very bad uh, teaching because most of the time, teachers are teaching us how to speak uh, English in Russian language. So like they kind of they try to explain it in Russian how okay. to speak English, and this is very like the the program school program is, I don't know it, you know like ABC, mm -hmm. you know that uh, what do you call this London is uh, a capital of Great mm -hmm. Britain, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know, mother brother, cat dog that's it. So the, just the basics. Very basics. So uh, which means all of this. Of the English that you're speaking now, you learned when you reached here because of the demand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I start to speak, like, when we, Kintu and I, we got engaged, mm. I didn't even, we didn't even video call because I was scared. And not video call, not call. All my, all our text was, like, I'm texting something, I go to translator, I translate, I come back, I send him. Mm. He sent me a message, I go translate through translator. So we start to call maybe after three months, maybe. Oh, my. So he just decided to marry to the person who doesn't even speak English properly. <laughs> <laughs> Very brave. <laughs> How about Kasi now? Do you learn Kasi? Have you learned? Um, I <clears throat> I know basics. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> like? Uh, I can buy some stuff in a shop. So I'm I'm trying to use whenever we... 
um, going outside mm-hmm. and uh, if I listen, like my husband talking to someone, I listen to him trying to recognize some words which I know mm-hmm. or not mm-hmm. or some words I, I like listen a few times and like, what does it mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm trying, but um, yeah, it's still still need to learn properly. So can you understand if, um, let's say myself and him, if we are talking, Kasi, can you get a thing or two of what we are saying or something? Yeah, I think the general idea will get mm-hmm. somehow. Yeah, but I wouldn't say that I'm speaking very like well. <laughs> but I'm I'm trying. Like it's just I'm I'm doing in my own rhythm, no? Mm-hmm. Of course, people here they want me to speak say faster, faster, faster. I understand that, uh, but uh, I'm just going in according to my own rhythm and my own schedule. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's after all, it's not that easy to just speak other language. Right. Uh, I, I'm. I think when 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 you started, um, when your videos started going viral. Um, starting with, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, one of the videos that really picked up uh, the views was the um, the pool, the Nongna waterfall. Remember? Yes. What, what was that called? Uh, the the pool. Yeah, the natural. Uh, yeah, the pool. yeah natural swimming pool. Yeah. I think it was from there. If I'm not mistaken, because that that was one of the videos that it was recommended. Mm-hmm. Initially, yeah, yeah, a uh, few videos in the from the beginning we have like very viral, crazy viral. Uh, one video when uh, I went to buy stuffs and I was or oh, 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 that was before that. Yes, that ah, was. Yeah, I think yeah, that, that was I saw. our um, third or fourth video, something uh-huh. like this. Okay. Yeah, and then Nong Now also mm-hmm. one of yeah they both uh, that first one. Reach million views, and mm-hmm. at another one, Nongna, it's almost million somewhere around that. So, um, with these videos, uh, when when you started, <coughs> you started getting all these uh, viewers. You started getting you started getting all these um, subscribers from here. Uh, what was really you know I I mean myself uh, though being a U- local YouTuber h- here, I mean th- there are a lot of um, expectations from the viewers like we had talked about earlier they mm-hmm. have some who wanted this some who wanted that some suggesting you know so many mm-hmm. things what was the most asked question or maybe the most requested uh, things to do that you've uh, received so far in the comment section or maybe out of the comment box uh, first the people ask me to speak Kasi Mm-hmm. This is like number one. This is like huge number one. Mm-hmm. Every video, like speaking Kasi. Then second would be the uh, comment that we always hang out. <laughs> hang out as in? Like uh, we're going, like we're making YouTube videos. Mm-hmm. Obviously, not when we're working at home, right? Mm-hmm. Because it will not be fun video. Mm-hmm. We're just sitting at home working. Mm-hmm. Uh, but when we have a program and we're like, okay, we're going out, we can make a video for YouTube. Mm-hmm. I don't know how. Um, it's abs- For me, it's absolutely not logical how people make this conclusion that all we do in our life is hanging out. <laughs> Just based on our videos, mm. which is obviously, like, obviously we are uh, shooting when we're hanging out. Mm-hmm. That's why, we, that's when we're making content. Right, right, right. But they assume like the whole our life Mm -hmm. is just hanging out. Yeah. First of all, uh, we upload in video once in 10 days, Mm -hmm. once in two weeks. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we're going out at that moment. I don't understand how people make conclusion that, uh, how to say, like what do they think we're doing the rest of the time when we're not making video? Mm -hmm. I don't understand what they think about this. And second of all, people don't understand that even making videos, mm-hmm. it's not exactly hanging out. Take if we would hour. hang out, there would be no video. Exactly. Because make video, and you know you know perfectly this, you're making video, you're working. Mm-hmm. Because YouTube, it's a work. It's mm-hmm. not, for them, 
if they see it's like easy, we're just like, hi, da, 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 we're mm. here, like we're doing this, this, this. Uh, we kind of take them with us mm -hmm. and for them it's easy to watch. Mm -hmm. But it's not easy to film. Mm -hmm. It's work. And uh, yeah, I think people should understand that that uh, bloggers and YouTubers, it's not people who hanging out. It's people who is just working in the social media. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. True. So, which means, uh, like, right now, um, when 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 we talk about uh, social media here, uh, can I say that you are now a full time, you know, creator, full time, almost say social worker, social media <laughs> worker. <laughs> Social media worker. <laughs> social worker. Social yeah, worker. Social media worker. <laughs> yeah. You know, some people would think it's like... I remember when uh, bloggers became popular again, like I'm coming back to Russia, no? Uh -huh. In our conversation, because I'm from Russia, sorry, guys, I'm Russian, that's why. That, that's what we want to um, hear more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and... Um, and we also used to have that image of them like, Ah, oh, so nice, they're hanging out, they're like, uh, hi guys, this is my breakfast, this is like, okay, I'm going out to shopping mall, and I'm like, how difficult is this, like, to make content like this, this is so easy, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, I'm so tired, today was such a, like, working day, and I couldn't understand how they can complain mm. if what, only what they do is making a video and mm. uploading stories. Mm. And like uploading some pictures. Mm -hmm. And uh, later they start to share more about this. They start to say that, uh, guys, you don't see it behind the scene, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, first, it wasn't that popular to show how you work. Mm -hmm. You know, usually we just like show when we in the restaurant or when we're going somewhere. This is fun, but we don't show how we work. And they... Um, they, uh, like after quite some time, they start to show what actually it is to be mm -hmm. a blogger. Mm -hmm. And only when I became a blogger by myself, I'm like, oh my God, it's not easy at all. It right, takes right, so right. much time because you're thinking about the content. Mm -hmm. You're thinking how to make it. Uh, so it would be interesting. You are um, thinking about the strategy. Uh, mm -hmm. All these things are taking time. And uh, energy as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but besides the content creation, I have other things, also other projects. Mm -hmm. um, but I would still say that for now, I would say that, yeah, content creation is like my kind of main thing to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm, yeah, social media worker. <laughs> <laughs> Very tired. <laughs> Who should go first? You can go first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have a question. Whether everything um, we do is real or staged? Um, well, it depends. Depends, which means um, if I'm vlogging, uh, if I'm vlogging, if I am trying to share an experience of uh, things, let's say if I go to a place, a new place, or maybe if I am trying out new things and all that, then it is new. Then it is like completely out of my imagination of about what I'm expecting to see and do. Uh, but if uh, sometimes if it is a promotional video, then we have to at least enact something uh, and, and, and provide kind of a script or maybe a storyline towards it. Because if we don't do that, then uh, you know we we will not be able to get the message across if we are doing a, a sort of a promotion or sort of um, you know uh, an endorsement of a product mm -hmm. or, or something. But uh, you can clearly see uh, this uh, the the difference between the two when we do all these integrated ads. Mm -hmm. You know when when we have uh, short ads of let's say um, of forty seconds to one minute in a video in one let's say in a 10 minute video and if you see a video of uh, let's say 40 seconds to one minute that is what we call staged mm -hmm. and the others would be 
more of uh, you know experience and all that though i must say though the shots are planned most of them because uh, f- a few of them even if we have to record on the go the run and gun kind of thing yet after reaching home you know on the editing table we have to almost chopped kind of how many many 40 almost 50% of it sometimes we we we, we tend to shoot almost everything mm-hmm. so um, that way it it takes a lot of time even editing so we we need to have a certain kind of a direction even while going also mm-hmm. so if if i have uh, if i need to know if i have to go to a place let's say to a waterfall then i need to plan first okay where do i shoot okay i'll just shoot first before leaving then maybe in the car mm-hmm. then maybe the trek and then maybe in the waterfall mm-hmm. so that is something that i would have in mind but uh staged or not staged mm-hmm. i have to say uh, it depends mm-hmm. yeah um for me it's um uh, mostly i mean yeah i think 99% would be live content mm mm-hmm. what i just put in the stories like i mean uh, what i put in the storytelling and it can be or stories or post or reels like i like to be um uh, you know how i am actually mm-hmm. um but there is sometimes like something what i make like out of my content it's mm-hmm. like some some funny stuff even this morning was <laughs> like funny storytelling i came uh with the apple pie to the gym mm-hmm. i don't know if you saw yeah, the story sorry, 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 yeah. so um <clears throat> uh, i came with the apple pie to a uh, gym and i'm like okay if i can't lose weight then at least i need to make sure, sure that i feed others so <laughs> you know at least they also <laughs> gain some <laughs> <laughs> yes. and then uh, after that it's just like start to be in my mind like okay how i can like go with this because i really love to i like to laugh i like to make jokes and sometimes i even laugh in like by myself because i have some cartoons in my mind and i can like ride bike and laugh because i i'm watching cartoons from my head so sometimes i want to put it in a uh stories i want to put it in it you know for people to also see and then next story i uploaded like uh me doing some exercise and i'm like and while they eating cakes you like exercise and then next like thing came to me uh because uh, most of the time whenever we do training i by some like particular timing i start to struggle so much because my coach is giving me like more weights and she's controlling so i like do everything properly and i'm like very struggling i have this face and i'm like all red sweaty and i'm like wait we can like go on with this mm-hmm. and then the last one i'm like okay you know what you can do i share with you you can mm, feel me once i'm struggling mm-hmm. and then i'll put up the joke you know like that it's better not to joke about your coach before training is over yeah, i saw so, yeah, I saw yeah that. I so saw this that. kind of things that mm. uh, i created first in my mind and i'm like okay i just need to shoot it mm. so it's kind of stage but in the same time it's very natural yeah 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 but yeah but even video for youtube i usually do plan in a sense like i'm not making maybe one day we will do like a proper script and that you know i will act and all these things mm-hmm. but for now i um like you said exactly the same i i think in my head first like how i want video to be mm-hmm. how do we start how do we um what will be the you know the main point mm-hmm. like okay. what the whole video about oh, yes. and how do we finish what will be interesting to show and then with this like few points mm-hmm. we just going Connect. through the video but doing like all naturally and all just how we are right right uh yeah so anyway uh you should have learned kasi before coming to the podcast at least you can share something with our people here uh anyway <laughs> Now a lot of pressure on you. <laughs> Maybe you should learn Russian. Yeah. Oh yeah. yes, yes. I should learn Russian. Uh, what, what, what was the Russian word that I learned? I remember. Um, uh, Privet. Uh, Privet. No, the the, the other one. Um, Zdravstvite. 
Здравствуйте. Спасибо. Благодарю. До свидания. That is what? Пока. Bye-bye. Oh, пока, пока. До свидания. До свидания. Yes. До свидания. Right. You so, can say it in the end. <laughs> oh, yeah, До свидания. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, um, people here, uh, at least locally, know you uh, uh, through social media. And um, and 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 I'm pretty sure that most of us also have this impression about you that you are a social media worker. So <laughs> yeah. <And laughs> so um, I mean, I mean, <laughs> what else can I say? A content creator. I mean, content creator is over, an overused word. Yes. You know? Yes. This you got just new one. Social yeah, media yeah, worker. Social media I worker. love it. Yeah, social media worker. I'll put in my bio. <laughs> Marina Karbani, social, social media, media worker. worker. <laughs> well, yeah. That's so, perfect. so yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> speaking, speaking of social media, I mean, a lot of us are using it. Okay, yes. a, lo a lot of us are using it. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, I, I got. I'm a social media worker, and, and I want to inspire others also to be what. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, so um, most of us do have social media. We mm -hmm. are on social media. Like most of us having smartphones, I'm talking about the people who have, who who are using smartphones. So, as uh, if we talk about social media, there's uh, there are so many things to it, and 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 I believe you must have um, dedicate your two years and a half plus minus or more than that into social media mm -hmm. and how to build your brand, how to build um your your audience on social media. And uh, now uh, you're somewhere around 85, 86k followers mm -hmm. on uh, yes, yes. on Instagram and over 200k on on YouTube right mm -hmm. now. So uh, you know how did? Of course, you 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 have shared about how it, it all happened, but how did all this you know took shape? And 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 I'm pretty sure when when you started, it was all over the place, and there were so many things that you need to learn, mm. even you know. Uh, all those years of trying new things, experimenting this or that, what kind of content works best, what our, you know, kind of pictures, posts, reels. So how did, I mean, how did you get here where you are right now with this many followers and this many, uh, you know, subscribers, you know, uh, having to carve out, let's say, a niche for yourself, How did that happen? And and mm -hmm. what did you see on social media that made you like really to stick to it? Especially when you uh, you you've come to realize that you know most of your audience now are mm -hmm. from here locally, which I'm pretty sure by now still you're still learning about the culture and so many things from here. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, uh, first of all, um, I always like to um, take pictures. Mm -hmm. Uh, I really love to make videos. I like to create some things before, even before Instagram become popular. Mm -hmm. I like to act. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking how to put it all together. Mm -hmm. So when Instagram came, all these skills, all this what I loved, it kind of came together as a, um, like good, like something for a good start for Instagram. Okay, just, just, just hold that. Why, why was your priority on Instagram and not YouTube? YouTube for me, like in Russia, YouTube is not that popular. Mm -hmm. Instagram, it's like number one in Russia. And uh, about YouTube, I only knew that sometimes I'm searching in internet for the video, like mm -hmm. particular topic, how to make a chicken. And there's like option to get a video from Google, from Yandex, from YouTube, from something. So that That's what I knew. I didn't know. I didn't even know that in YouTube, there's people who is YouTubers who have their own channel, who is mm -hmm. uploading. Like I had no idea. I got to know about this only when I came here. Mm -hmm. And when Kitchu is like, let's have YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And I was shocked. And I'm like, first, 
in the beginning I was rejecting. I'm like, no, 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 no. Why? I'm all about Instagram, please. Mm. I want to be a blogger on Instagram, YouTube. I don't understand. I need to understand how it works and all those mm. things. But then eventually um, I agreed. I'm like, okay, let's just do this. Because Kinti's like, ah, it will be very slow. People are getting like sometimes years and years even to get the, like 10K. So mm. don't worry, it will not be fast. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and then after one month, we had 40K. <laughs> it will not be fast. <laughs> yeah, because of that viral video. So that's, that's how I uh, decided to be... Uh, blogger and the most important thing for people who want to have their own blog vlog or whatever it is mm. so they would understand uh, what what is the topic of the thing mm. because um, if <clears throat> there's particular topic it's much easier to grow right. you will not run out of the energy, uh, and, ideas. Yeah, energy and ideas like if that's the person who's like okay I just want to do YouTube like, okay, what, what do I do? Or mm-hmm. Instagram, like, what do I do? Why some people not growing? Because even Instagram, they're like, follow me, follow me back. Like, I want followers, please, guys. Like, all these things. Uh, but why? Mm. They don't know what they are giving, like, to, to the world. Exactly. they just like, today she's uploading picture <clears throat> with the dog. Tomorrow, with friends, day after tomorrow, she she went for a trip. Mm -hmm. It will be interesting for your friends, for your family members, because they know you. But the rest of the people will not be interested because it's like, why would I spend my time watching? Especially now, we have so much information online. Mm -hmm. And we have very limited time, how much we spend online. So we very choosy, like, what exactly to watch. Mm -hmm. I will not waste my time on the... A uh, person who I don't understand what's this content uh, content about. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's why it's very important to understand uh, whether you are a lifestyle blogger mm-hmm. and then you have to make sure because I'm also kind of lifestyle style blogger. Uh, but then I'm making sure that content which I upload, people understand, people can be part of my life also. Mm-hmm. And that's how they feel connected. Mm-hmm. Uh, but in the same time, I have the big idea of my vlog. Like, I'm a that was for Russian audience, and in, even now the same I use in for Indians. Kinda, you know, can be for everyone. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. So, um, that I'm a Russian <clears throat> who came to water. India. No, no, it's okay. It's just like I think my belt is like. Pressure in my tummy, and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> trying to breathe. 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 <coughs> the <coughs> excuse me. You can take a moment. It's okay. <coughs> anyway, yeah. So you were saying uh, this is all about the yes, yes, yes. The topic. Uh, topic is very important. Uh, for me, it worked uh, perfectly because. I have the topic Russian in India. Mm-hmm. Adjusting, it can be India, Meghalaya, Nagaland, mm-hmm. other parts of India, Central India, mm-hmm. and uh, based of this, based on this, I'm creating my content, mm-hmm. and also I can add some lifestyle, like I brought the apple pie mm-hmm. to my gym, <laughs> and mm-hmm. then had the, some struggle in torching from my coach. Mm-hmm. So this is what makes it. Um, makes content uh, interesting, makes mm-hmm. it like more uh, alive, mm. if I can say this word. So uh, if, if, if I should ask, or if I can ask, uh, where did you learn all this from? I mean, is it, is it through experience mm. or mm. you? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, for, uh, I would say that on the first place, it's experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, on the second, uh, we have now again a lot of bloggers mm-hmm. who is uh, teaching blogging, mm-hmm. like how to do this, how to make your yes, yes, how to make your stories interesting, mm-hmm. how to attract people, how to make them, you know, uh, how to get closer to your audience. Mm-hmm. All these things. Um, since in Russia, Instagram is the most popular uh, social media, mm-hmm. we have all kinds of like people who is teaching this. So mm-hmm. I, I'm regular even this morning, whenever I'm like in a gym on the, this running, this thing. Treadmill. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes. 
I'm just listening some podcast and I'm getting ideas. I'm thinking how to apply. But it's nothing if you're not um, experience yourself, mm-hmm. if you're not putting it in action, whatever you are learning. Because anyway, <clears throat> you can listen to the uh, um, some advices. You can uh, take some tools, but you need to learn how to use it and how to adjust like with yourself. Mm-hmm. It's like I don't you you have the bike right mm-hmm. you you did adjust the bike how how you will feel comfortable mm-hmm. so this is the same according to my own style my own thing um, how I feel the most comfortable yeah I'm adjusting all this knowledge but yeah I regularly learn new things about Instagram I regularly um, checking statistic I'm I'm looking how it goes. Um, what people react the best on or when people stop reacting. I also like notice all these things. Mm-hmm. I uh, try new kind of reels to see what will work now or what will not. And recently that was like so interesting that recently I realized that um, I was doing kind of funny videos as well mm-hmm. because, you know, it's nice. And some of them had, you know, pretty good uh, reach and uh, reactions, uh, but it's nothing compared to some life's video when I just like I didn't even um, I didn't even um, expect that. That was the moment when we just went to uh, see Shalong La Jong, mm-hmm. and then I I was looking at my husband, you know, like how yeah, he saw, was. Yeah, yeah he's that. like getting up, screaming. He's like, oh. No. I'm like this is so this is so funny that I literally I just was looking at him instead of looking there because it's like so interesting his reaction. He like and then I, I just make a video and I just upload it. Mm-hmm. And it's I think it reached somewhere around around six hundred K or something more than that. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, interesting. Okay. And then usually um, like most of my reels are getting like 100, 200 K. Mm-hmm. So pretty good also. But this is like just boost, like it went up. Mm-hmm. Then we went to Nagaland. We we're just walking on the street. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, why he's doing this? He's like, just ask the direction. I remember, I remember that just ask. It's, it's not a problem. Mm-hmm. They will tell you and we will not waste time. No, he's walking. And I'm after him walking. And I just took my phone. Uh, no preparation, nothing. I'm like, da, 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 da. Mm. done. 800k. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Again, sitting in a restaurant. I'm like, I got the bones. He's like, it's okay. Don't, don't tell anything. I'm like, why? I got the bones instead of meat. Mm-hmm. I need to ask. Again, I made the video. Uploaded 600k. I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, but without these things, trying new things, you will never understand what will work. So right. sometimes. What people are scared about, they're scared to try new things mm-hmm. because uh, what will people think? Mm-hmm. What if it will not work? Mm-hmm. What will they, you know, say? Mm-hmm. Like, how will I feel? Mm-hmm. So what? Yeah, you, uh, I will tell you right now, first time in my life sharing mm-hmm. about this, about this, no, only me and Kintu. Mm-hmm. Um, just... It's okay. <laughs> so <laughs> go on, go on. I'm yes, <laughs> yes, yes. We are listening. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we decided to have a. We had by then maybe, um, I don't know, maybe 100k subscribers on YouTube, mm-hmm. and I th- I had around like 40, 50, 45 maybe k <clears throat> in uh, Instagram, mm-hmm. and I'm like, okay, maybe we can make a subscriber meetings. Like, just to announce, like, if people want to come, we can play games, we can talk, da 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 da, da. Okay, let's try. So we did, maybe timing was was very wrong. I, I think the timing was also very off. Uh, that was Sunday, 11 a.m., <laughs> oh. uh, golfing. And uh, I uploaded in my stories, we uploaded in YouTube also. There was 180 people who checked location. Where is it? And when we came, no one came. We were alone by ourselves. No one came. I'm like, okay. Did I feel bad? So what? Mm -hmm. 
I'm not going. You guys did that? Yes. Really? Yes. And no one came. Zero. And I'm like, okay. I didn't even come. <laughs> even he didn't come. Imagine. <laughs> we weren't good friends at that, that time yet. So, but I mean, sometimes we're trying things and it doesn't work. So what? Right, right. Someone remember about this? People don't even remember that we did a uh, subscriber or follower meetings and it didn't work. Mm. But we made our um, conclusions. <laughs> We're like, okay, okay. Then how we can improve it? So it's much better to go ahead and try new things mm. and see if it works or not, not work. Otherwise sitting and being scared like, What what people will think? Exactly, what will exactly. what if it will not true, work? True, 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 true. You will never know it will work. Will it work or not? If you will mm. not try, mm. and if you failing, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's not right. a problem. You're not dying. No one is dying, but you just what happened is that you made. I'm like so energetic. Of the <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> please, 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 please. Yeah, yeah. We are listening. Yeah. We like the vibe. But yeah, w- what happening is you're doing something. Mm. Supposing you did and it didn't work. And you have experience. Mm-hmm. You're like, okay, this didn't work. And now I can understand how I can make it so it would wor- work. So you, this is the best thing to have experience. This mm-hmm. is the best. It's better to make mistake 100 times mm-hmm. because you will become stronger. And true, it's not true, a beautiful true. quote. It's this is the life. This is how you become expert. Yeah. Not like you're just sitting and, you know, scared to move because people will say something about you mm-hmm. and you just mm-hmm. like not moving at all. Go and fall down right in front of people. Yeah. Let like them see. Taking this. Yeah. yeah. My you know what my <laughs> um my mentor says? Mm-hmm. He said, make sure that you will put yourself, uh, you know, how do you, how do you say this? Um, a, a shame or you you kind of put some shame on you right in front mm-hmm. of people. Mm-hmm. Said, mm-hmm. Yes, y- y- yes, yes. He said that you have to embarrass yourself right in front of people a few times. Mm-hmm. First of all, it will keep you a little bit down. Mm-hmm. Second of all, you will stop caring because mm-hmm. you will not die because you embarrassed. Mm-hmm. You embarrassed. But you'll le- learn something new. <laughs> She's so hyped up. <laughs> I like that. It's the room. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, I hope. I I think my my second my second name is motivation I, because I think if I if you will give me uh, time to speak long enough, mm-hmm. I'll finish with motivational speech. Yeah. This is how I'm wherever I'm. Talking with Kintu, talking to my friends, like sitting with it, like around the table. I will finish if you give me some time to talk. I'll finish with motivational speech. I'll give you. You have <laughs> all of the time in the world. <laughs> Except if uh, Kintu calls you up, then maybe. yes, yes, <laughs> all, all the time of the world, thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, so speaking about social media and what you do and how you are um, uh, trying to, you know, experiment and all these things. So according to you now at uh, 85k followers right now um this is the long way to go of accomplishing things of achieving new heights and you know goals and targets and everything but right now at this moment what is social media to you Oh I, I love social media I love social media so much because this is a great opportunities um It's I don't even know how to say there is no what I can compare social media to but uh a lot of people are using social media as uh, entertainment for fun mm-hmm. it's okay no problem if you want after a long day just sit and check the reels and laugh it's okay it's no problem uh also can be used like this mm-hmm. but for me social media it's um for a lot of purposes first of all um kintu doesn't like this word influencer <laughs> yeah. even you, i even i yeah, don't yeah. really <laughs> go yes, with that word influencer <laughs> <laughs> uh but um uh, to be honest we have we can influence people with the good things yeah. yeah we can share with them 
Uh, for me, I really like to share <sighs> about uh, things I'm going on through sometimes. Mm -hmm. So people und that understand that some things are normal. Mm -hmm. um, I had, I don't know if I told you that or not, but that was the moment when um, I was sharing, like last year I put for myself the goals mm -hmm. uh, for 2023. And... Uh, one of my goal was to uh, go to psychologist 10 times. Mm -hmm. Like I just set up as a, as a goal. Whenever I'm confused or something, I'm not going to my girlfriends to discuss this because they will not give me the uh, good quality help. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the professional who can help me to turn this difficulty into the step for me to grow. Mm -hmm. It's always like this. Mm -hmm. Yes, last last year I took like 13 sessions instead of uh, 10. I grew a lot because like mm -hmm. with his help, I use it like a trampoline to jump and like grow higher. Mm -hmm. So and um, uh, that was a moment when I uh, went one of the session and I shared a little bit. Some session I did share with people what was the problem, what my psychologist said, you know, like to help them to understand that. It's also okay to have problem. We mm -hmm. all have problems. The, uh, also, the problem is society. Sometimes, not only here, I think it's everywhere, that people want to look okay. They want to, look, they want to say that, ah, it's okay with me, I'm fine, I'm successful, like nothing happens and my children are successful and my husband and wife are successful. Mm -hmm. like they want to show that beautiful picture. It's understandable, but... This the moment creates like we all trying to show each other the good face, and uh, that's how we are getting good faces around, and we think that something wrong with us. Like everyone is around is okay, and only with me something wrong. Mm -hmm. So that's why I kind of like sometimes to share like, yeah, it's normal. Even I have it. I'm going to psychologist, and I'm not psycho. Mm -hmm. It's just you know like to help to understand right, it's right. normal. And uh, after that, I just, um, I ask, like, maybe, I know maybe some of you don't have people to talk to. Uh, maybe you can, like, ask me some questions. Maybe mm -hmm. I will be able to answer your questions. And um, that was one of the most beautiful things because I think people, like young people, start to ask me questions. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of deep, deep questions. Mm -hmm. And I was shocked. And in the same time, I was kind of even like I felt pain mm. that um, so many young people, they are left without guidance. Mm. They don't have anyone who they can talk to about their very deep fears or big confusion in life, about love, about relationship with friends, mm. about money about um, work and all these things. Mm -hmm. And um, through social media, I think this is one of my biggest purpose, I think, uh, to just be with people as much as I can. Just be there and uh, show them like real life. Even with the not good things, uh, with good things also, uh, with failures and uh, some victories. Mm -hmm. So people would get the vibe of their real life, no? Mm -hmm. So for me, this is very important. And second one is uh, uh, social media is a big opportunities for business, like huge opportunities for business, which is also uh, from Russia, I see how it works. People using Instagram, they are uh, getting millions and millions all, by now. Mm -hmm. When it started, it also like was kind of <coughs> growing like slowly, slowly. Mm -hmm. Now a lot of businessmen, only because of Instagram, they could grow. They uh, do something. Uh, then if they just do for themselves at home, mm -hmm. how people will know? Yeah, mm -hmm. they will know like neighbors, maybe some friends. It will grow slowly, slowly. But if you have your account on Instagram. I'm not sure how to, maybe you will know how to push through YouTube, mm -hmm. but I, I'm talking about Instagram. You have your account in Instagram and you can uh, create a content and show people. And it's like, it's like you have the uh, 
um, entrance to the the biggest client's base in the world. Mm -hmm. There's so many people and mm -hmm. you can just push your own product. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of people uh, who became famous because of Instagram, because they knew how to use this tool. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, even like um, I have some um cases with the uh, advertisement uh again i my approach to advertisement i don't take every advertisement i'm getting a lot of proposals mm -hmm. like uh, a lot of requests to advertise but um i need to check the product first of all mm -hmm. uh if i like <clears throat> it or not that was few things uh which i tried mm -hmm. and i said sorry i can't Mm -hmm. You can give me money, but I will not advertise it because quality is bad. I really take care what my um, audience will say. I really take care if they will go and buy something mm -hmm. because I uh, suggest it. And if they will not like it, my good name spoiled. Mm -hmm. Relationship trust between me True. and audience spoiled. So I never go for something like very that was one thing which i went i will not mention now names mm -hmm. i know i went my followers did corrected me they like marina and they gave me some information mm. and i took down right away uh the advertisement i sent back the money for advertisement and i never took anything like this anymore i'm like i'm apologizing in front of you that i didn't check in advance mm -hmm. so this is what i got i i was very open because uh for me my audience, it's not the uh, someone who I will use to earn money. Yes, we're earning money as well. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But I will not go um, using their trust. Uh, and um, also there was, a, I will not cross my principles mm -hmm. because that was also the moment when, um, again, without names, there was a company which approached me and I said, I can't advertise this because it goes out of my principles. They were offering 10, 10K. Mm -hmm. They were increasing price. They increased to 25, 30K. Mm -hmm. I said, no, I rather will stay without money, this money. Uh, then I will take advertisement and give something to my people because it's my audience. It's my people. They came, they trust me. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that. So I will be careful with whatever I'm saying. And uh, um, and I really like um, whenever I take something for advertisement, this is what I actually use by myself. There is few cafes which I did advertise. And that was a nice uh, cafe. Uh, maybe some of you did uh, see the advertisement. Maybe some of you did even go there. It's a craft collect collective cafe store. Mm -hmm. It's in uh, Maulai um, around this ASBT. Yes, yes, yes. Bypass, like right, when yes, you, yes, yeah. Yes. So beautiful cafe. It's mm. so nice. When I enter there, I'm like, it's so beautiful. And then we ate the food, I enjoyed the food. And um, what happened is I charged uh, that time. I had like um, 65K followers, something like this. Mm. So I charged 15K per reel. And um, but cafe was so nice. So first of all, uh, we by ourselves went to that cafe about, I don't know, like five, six times. Mm -hmm. And uh, we by ourselves, I think we spent, I think around 10, 12 K, like mm -hmm. day by day, no? Mm -hmm. And um, mm, besides that, this post got more than 2,000 shares. Mm -hmm. Uh, more than 1,000 saves. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I talk to her, because for me it's also important to know that if I'm advertising something, I need to make sure that people are getting results. Right. So I contacted her and I'm like, can you share with me how was the advertisement? She's like, it already paid off. Because mm -hmm. what happened is, when people push their thing through Instagram, mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, first uh, it started from me, I have a lot of followers, mm -hmm. It went uh, mm -hmm. everywhere. We ourselves, we came many times. Mm -hmm. We did bring our friends. Mm -hmm. Our followers start to come. Mm -hmm. uh, they uploading pictures from there. Mm -hmm. 
more people start to uh, know from their accounts. Mm -hmm. They where is it? Where is it? They start to go. Mm -hmm. So it grows like this. Yeah, it's just expand. so much. Yeah. And I don't understand why people not using this. Mm -hmm. Maybe because it's very new and they still confused. They, they still don't know how exactly to use. Mm -hmm. But like me coming from Russia and I know how it works there. Mm -hmm. And I uh, do my, my own accounts through there. And I, I can see like so much of response when you know how to do this. Mm -hmm. When you know how to do this. You can grow if you have cafe you will have 100% of people who is coming. Mm -hmm. If you have Instagram, if you have Instagram and you know how to manage Instagram, you know what post to put, uh, how to like make your account look attractive, mm -hmm. you will get 300, 400, 500%. You can get viral. This is like, there is a one, um, there is a one uh, baker mm -hmm. from France. I think you, uh, Cedric, his name? Uh, he's like uh, his videos are getting millions and millions of views. Mm -hmm. uh, he's making desserts, very nice. Um, you know, sometimes rose shape, sometimes it's like a, a strawberry. It looks like very nice. Mm -hmm. And um, what what he's doing? He's just making a reel out of it, and he's uploading this. Mm -hmm. uh, I follow one uh, blogger from Russia, and they went to Paris because he's from Paris. There is such a long line, huge line, because people saw it in Instagram. They're going all the way to Paris and they think, like, okay, I will go to that cafe because they saw that guy online. They want to go there. The social media, it's a huge opportunity. Huge. It's like unlimited. So so if, if, if I have to ask... Um how then do you earn uh, through social media? I mean, specifically, in particular, the Instagram. Mm -hmm. how, how do you earn? If 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 we're talking about uh, branding, if we're talking about uh, business, if we're talking about uh, doing promotions, how do one earn from Instagram? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, from Instagram, there is a few... Um, I did a uh, few days back in my Instagram that uh, like pull and asking uh, questions about the uh, social media and um, people were asking me like how to earn from Instagram like um, I'm like mom I'm sitting with my baby at home mm -hmm. or like I'm a student I want to earn from Instagram um, it's possible mm -hmm. uh, but it's work there is no easy way to earn uh, for me my personal opinion if someone is telling you, come, you will have 50K, 100K, 150K, one luck, two luck, three luck. Mm -hmm. uh, this one I don't believe. Mm -hmm. Because uh, anyway, you need to work. You need to put your effort. Mm -hmm. You need to have some skills. Mm -hmm. So Instagram, this is the money-making machine. Mm -hmm. But you need to know how to use this machine. And you need to be patient enough Mm -hmm. to wait for result. Uh, uh, what comes to me, before I start earning, I was making my Instagram for, I think, one year, about like that. I was working like, you know, almost 24 to 7. Mm -hmm. And Kinti is like, why are you doing this? I said, wait, mm -hmm. wait, mm -hmm. you'll see. Soon people will come for advertisements and we will earn through this. And he's like, okay, he was very supportive, okay? Mm -hmm. But he didn't, like, he didn't see the point, like, why doing this? But I was keep investing my time and energy in Instagram. I didn't invest any money. Uh, I could have invested to, like, to do some promotions from other vloggers or YouTubers. I would grow faster, I think, that way. But I just didn't do this. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, I kept doing this day by day. Uh, learning, spending a lot of time learning about Instagram, about algorithms, about how I can make videos, how I can make it in interesting. Uh, and uh, eventually it came to that point when I have a lot of um, uh, requests from brand to promote their product. Uh, and this is one of the ways how you can earn. If you're an influencer, 
and you have um, audience, and I would say uh, it very important. So even like if you are the owner of the business, you have to make sure that the um, blogger who you uh, want to uh, attract to promotion mm-hmm. have that trust between him and audience. Mm-hmm. Because if there is no trust, there is no relationship, the people will not buy. Right. So that's why um, if you're an influencer, you have to make content in such a way and be real with people and interact with them. So uh, brands will want you to promote their product. Mm-hmm. So this is one of the ways. It's a good way. Uh, it's uh, like first you need to work to get this trust and get this audience and grow it. And then you can earn through this way. Um, but it's a little bit, um, can be a little bit tricky, a little bit not stable. Why? Because uh, today you have advertisement, mm-hmm. tomorrow something happen, the market is down mm-hmm. and people will not spend money for advertisement. Mm-hmm. So that's how uh, another way, which uh, I think it's much more um, practical to use uh, Instagram to push your business. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people now, they having um, customers only because of Instagram, only through Instagram. Mm -hmm. So yeah, whenever you know how to push your page, uh, your account, whenever you know how to grow, how to attract people, how to show that you are expert in particular topic, Mm -hmm. this is how you can also earn. And it will be uh, like, it will be, if you invest in, in Instagram, uh, it will pay back like very generously. Mm-hmm. And now I think I didn't turn it on yet, but now I saw there is a paid sus- following, paid subscription in Instagram. Mm-hmm. Have no idea yet. <laughs> I don't know. Did you try it? I, I, I've tried uh, exploring, but um, I haven't reached a uh, <laughs> conclusion as yet. <laughs> but uh, but I, I'm pretty sure there must be a way and it keeps updating itself um, every now and then. I think there should be a way of monetizing yeah, yeah, yeah. through other forms of uh, you know revenue yes, generation. Yes. Yeah, there, there is. Yeah, now you can monetize even your account. But I always, I like, I'm like, okay, I need to like just if it's there, I just mm. need to put it there. And uh, I always stuck in the moment when it's like asking the bank account details, and I, I'm getting so like, oh no, I don't have time for this now. <laughs> Uh, like two or three times I've opened till this moment I come and I'm like, okay, forget it. Yeah, Next e- time. Even, yeah, e- even I have <laughs> tried that. Uh, I think I've I've tried twice, if I'm not mistaken, but I got carried away with something else so I didn't even give much importance. Uh, but uh, in, in, in my case, um, um, actually, uh, social media wasn't really a thing for me. Mm. Um, uh, I mean, well, what I mean by that was... Uh, uh, this uh, all these uh, all these years that I've um, invested on social media, either YouTube or Instagram, are just uh, no, they're just content for the sake of uh, you know, for the sake of loving to create content. Mm-hmm. It's not really about uh, you know about uh, making money, about uh, you know trying to get anything out of it. And uh, and I I I kind of uh, I I saw yes the the this potential of earning money of making a living out of uh, social media, uh, you know by looking at uh, all these people elsewhere in the world and in the country who are making like hundreds and thousands and lakhs and millions of money in mm-hmm. a month or in a year. Uh, but the only thing uh, that bothers me is that. Um, you know, I, I I thought maybe this is just something that which is you know just do do it and people may tend to forget afterwards because why the uh, the kind of reach that I have personally the kind of reach that I have is only in Meghalaya mm-hmm. maybe not outside so I I tend to think that ah maybe it'll die down maybe I'll get tired sometime you know. Uh, maybe if I reach, uh, let's say, 100k, I may get tired and don't want to do it anymore. Maybe if I re- I reach 150k, maybe I'll get tired and all that. So yeah. it it keeps on going like that. I I I I kept on uh, you know uh, saying to myself like it's okay, just do, but don't take too ser- don't make it too serious. You know, mm-hmm. don't be too serious about it. And now 
at this point mm-hmm. i'm like no this is serious yes i mean see if if people are subscribing to you if people are actually you know taking the time and effort to push that button and maybe watch the video and then subscribe and maybe comment and maybe share the video it means there is value in what i do and and that's how now i'm 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 trying to think differently now i'm trying to create differently and now i am giving effort now to make reels mm-hmm. i mean initially it was like ah j- just like what you said just post anything and everything that you want to post you know it's more like a personal account where people can watch can like and if, mm-hmm. even if they don't it's okay and all that now i'm i'm try i'm i'm getting this uh, you know this the, this feeling of of uh, of uh, making it more professional mm-hmm. of being more professional with with your account being more uh, particular about what you say and do and all that mm-hmm. and 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 i believe most of us uh, if if we're talking about our uh, local population here let's say meghalaya centric here we uh, we lack that we, we lack that uh, what to say that um, maybe that strategy of doing things Mm-hmm. and uh, most of uh, our friends who have crossed let's say on instagram maybe crossed 100k followers or maybe 200k followers um i think the, the the they must have had their own strategies and all that but when it comes to monetizing when it comes to being professional in what they do and trying to you know to to be up there you know setting a benchmark for other influencers and content creators and then have uh uh um you know a capping rate for advertisement and all that that i i think it, it it's it's taking place but not yet and then i feel that is what we are lacking as a local population as a local you know content creators mm-hmm. here where i feel the the main reason is because we don't have much knowledge about it mm-hmm. and we don't really see the potential like um you know like i am So I feel like we need to do something about it. Yes, yes, at least yes. for for our people out there who are watching this, people who are who think that uh, I can do something on social media. I think we need to be serious about what we do. Um serious not just giving time and effort to do something with your account, but also to learn something, you know, to to get get mm-hmm. to learn something, get some opportunity. I mean, explore things you know explore the possibilities mm-hmm. but uh, uh coming to all these um these uh, uh you know these these um possibilities and the potentials and and what uh, you have explored so far um you know how 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 crucial or how scary is it to put your life out there on social media i mean you 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 have tried so many things mm-hmm. you know but uh what i could see from let's say uh, as a viewer of your channel and of your account i could see that you put a lot of your life out there a lot of your personal life out there mm-hmm. how scary is it or how you know how fun is it if not scary mm. uh, what can be scary about this just like pos- pos- possibly what can possibly scare you no i, I mean see people what what we would think you know as people in general like you said in russia you have that tendency of you know mm-hmm. of uh, defending yourself your community your loved ones mm-hmm. uh, if if they just smile or if you just smile it seems like you you're overreacting or you're giving them your personal space and let them you know th- things like that mm-hmm. so uh, you know putting your your life your personal life there like every single day mm-hmm. you know you're, you're posting stories about what you do i i i do understand that you're a lifestyle mm-hmm. uh, blogger mm-hmm. yet you know <clears throat> there is a lot of personal activities also involved mm-hmm. like let's say from your daily activities or your daily routine and the people that you you meet and all that you know at this day and age though it sounds i don't know but Do you think it's scary or mm. do you think it's fun doing it? I think I got your point. Uh no, first of all, um for example, even um if I upload let's say um nine stories per day, mm-hmm. it will be only around like 3 4 minutes, right? Mm-hmm. And the rest 23 hours 
like <laughs> nobody knows 40 like 55 uh minutes this is my personal life which i don't really share mm-hmm. of course um i'm sharing uh like some things mm-hmm. some things i'm not sharing some things what comes with not only me with my husband with my other family and maybe they're not that social like active mm-hmm. uh some things we just um going through like inside so not everything should be posted also but in the same time i am um i'm not hiding anything from anyone uh and um there is a for me at least um it's kind of relationship me as a blogger mm-hmm. and my audience mm-hmm. we are it's not that um usual it's not that standard Mm -hmm. but it's also kind of relationship Mm -hmm. and um i upload my stories they reacting they reply Mm -hmm. uh they sharing their stories in dm Mm -hmm. sometimes i share their stories for everyone to see if they're not asking please like this is Mm -hmm. don't tell anyone like don't upload in your stories then i don't Mm -hmm. um this is i i'm enjoying this Mm -hmm. like if i can share something to this world something good Mm -hmm. why not to do this uh of course there's supposed to be limits like Mm -hmm. again like i said not everything is like should be posted Mm -hmm. Uh, some people can misunderstand things Mm -hmm. and you know uh use it against a view later Mm -hmm. but um in in what i am sharing uh, even though yeah, people get idea that like I'm sharing a lot, mm-hmm. and it's actually a lot, mm-hmm. but it's all for me. It's safe. I feel safe, mm-hmm. and uh, also one of the things why I feel safe mm-hmm. that I don't stand any hate. I don't try to handle it. I just block people. So that's why um, time to time I get head messages, very rare, and now it's even more rare Mm -hmm. (laughs) like uh but i don't make conversation with them i just block them i'm like okay good now i see you blog like why would i um spoil my personal like space and this is no so So, 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 uh, what do you stay away from i mean is it is there any topic or is there, is there anything that you want to stay away from maybe a personal life or your relationship or is there anything that you stay away from or would you would advise people to stay away from at least to post on to social media? I think it depends on what person can handle. Mm-hmm. Um, like uh, for me, I don't have specific topic. Mm-hmm. Like Mm, the only thing I don't like when people ask when we have any children because this is <laughs> because this is very personal. People right, should understand right. this. Right. This is about um, I'm sorry, it's about bad of two people, and no one should poke their nose in the mm-hmm. bad of mm-hmm. two people. But people don't understand this, mm-hmm. and some people just ask about children, but some people blame for not having children. This is not good. Blame, blame, same? yeah, they blaming. They said, you guys don't want to have children. You want to only to enjoy, to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> Social media workers. Not that, <laughs> <laughs> not that easy. So, these kind of things, like, uh, you know, my parents don't ask. Kindu's mm. parents don't ask. They're like, whenever you're ready... Whenever you feel like, and total strangers mm. blaming us for not having kids, not knowing why, what's the reason behind of that? They have no idea, mm. but they blame. This is um, now it's not even annoying anymore. I'm like I'm getting used to it. Yeah. So other besides that. That for people who um, who wants to be influencer, they should just listen to their heart. <laughs> it's important to uh, understand where the limits, mm. because I'm quite strong. I'm quite strong. I'm going through therapy. 
I have psychologist. Mm. <laughs> so that's why. But in the beginning, in mm. the beginning, I I brought a lot of things to him. Mm. Like I'm getting these messages. I'm getting like scared because I'm. I think my content is not interesting anymore. So we were going through these things all like with him. Mm. And uh, now I came to this moment when even when I'm getting hate messages, I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. I don't care. There was an uh, interview with um, what Dudarshan, right? Yeah, Dudarshan. Yeah, Dudarshan. Uh, so, and uh, we got some hate comments under that. Mm -hmm. So I read it and I was so happy to realize that I literally don't feel anything. I'm not I'm not upset. I don't want to delete the I don't feel like I don't care what people say. If they if they have hate comments like mm. oh, okay. That's your opinion. So uh, why do you think people hate you then? I mean, you know. Ah, uh, in general, why people hate? Yeah. Um uh I uh, the biggest thing that they carry anger inside of them. Uh anger which they can't um, release anywhere else besides internet. For example, um, there is a person who is being um, kind of abused by his boss on the job, right? And he can't talk back in job, but he still getting that bad energy from the boss and he needs to release it somewhere. And then he sees me and he's like, you gone. <laughs> um, this this can be the reason another reason can be about uh, one or two hate messages for sure I will get if I'm uh, sharing with something what I'm not happy with mm -hmm. there was a moment um, when that was a period of time when people when they meet me um, they would there's a lot of people who is just like, oh, hi, I saw your content. It's like so nice, like hang, shake, and I'm so happy. Can we take picture and have time? No problem. We'll take picture. But there is few people would be who would try to touch me or kiss me or, you know. Oh, there? Yeah. Um, they going right into my personal space and they like, oh, you are so cute, like this. And I'm like, you might <laughs> see me. <laughs> <laughs> you might see me online every day because I'm posting, I understand, but I don't know you and you're supposed mm. to understand this. At least like come and say, oh, hi, I saw you like your videos. Can I hug you? Mm. That would be better rather than you just go with your hand to my face. <laughs> and uh, I just, because I was, um, it happened for maybe six months, time to time mm -hmm. situation would happen. And then I sat once and like, in a very kind mm. uh, mode, I told you like, uh, please remember this is what I, I don't really like. I don't re remember how I exactly put it in words, but I, you know, try to help people to understand that this is not the way. Mm. And then uh, I got the comment, you women are always complaining. Uh, you're getting money for that. Like, what? why you... For, for, for being online? You, for you being mean? touched? I was, I'm like, I was so confused. I'm like, wait. <laughs> and I realized that person just uh, not complaining about many things, probably in life. You know, tolerating a lot of bad things. And since she's tolerating, she wants <clears throat> me to tolerate. She doesn't want me to speak about this, what I don't like. So this, these are things are, you know, what happened. And um, sometimes hate can be out of jealousy. But you know what's the part which I really want us to do? I want everyone around to grow. Mm -hmm. I want to live in a growing society. Mm -hmm. I want to live around of people who is doing better and better every single day. When I see that someone is getting um, advertisement for the brand or someone is making a cool dance mm. or someone did upload some video which is working very well, I will be the one who will come and say, oh, good job, this is so cool, this is so nice, I really appreciate. And uh, I think it sh should be like this because only losers will like mm. 
mm. write bad, com- bad comments. People who is successful, they will be trying to support others. Mm. They will be trying to give you more energy. They will show their appreciation, their excitement about your success. True. Only losers will be like. Mm. So, and um, I really wish that everyone around me would be successful. Because if everyone is growing, I'm also growing. I'm growing, everyone is growing. That's how it works. We can't grow like one by one. So that's why I really want to inspire everyone to be better in whatever they're doing. Every product. Because am I successful in what I'm doing, right? And then there's, uh, I'm buying the bread from uh, Ying Shet. Mm-hmm. And I really want her to be successful because I want her to make a gr- good product mm-hmm. so I can buy it. Mm-hmm. I want to go to the beautiful restaurant which is growing and being good because I want to have a good food. Mm-hmm. So everyone is around being successful. It's my success as well. True. That's how it works. So um, speaking of society, since you mentioned, um, how is it like uh, you know, living in Shillong as a foreigner? Um, I have very good um, experience so far. Yes, I have some people who don't like me much, but that was like in the beginning. Uh, now, I don't know, or we blocked everyone so they <laughs> can't text us anymore. <laughs> or just uh, some people got used or they just not saying anything, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but um, I think 85% um, people who is very sweet, mm-hmm. who is uh, very helpful. Um, the only thing which is um, difficult for me to understand um, uh, that people not um, not trying to grow much. In a sense like if something is working, um, there's there's example. Uh, for example, there is a shop which is made out of a tin box, like mm-hmm. just tin box and simple table. And I realized that this shop can be for 5, 10, 11, 20, 40, 50 years, then goes to children and all. Mm-hmm. And this is what I don't understand, actu- actually, like exactly. Why, why wouldn't... People try to uh, do something differently, like just improve. Uh, not necessary to have like a lot of money for this, but like slowly, slowly trying to see how things can be improved. Mm-hmm. Mm, so, but if talking about like people, people, then yeah, uh, people are very friendly, mm-hmm. um, always helping. Um, as I start to ride the bike, that a lot of people like who who's helping me <laughs> out. Oh, this is very sweet. Well, because um, uh, f- from what we could see, um, speaking, I mean, it is obvious from the comment section and all that. Um, people see you because of your nationality, mm-hmm. because of where you from, your background, and how you came here and all that. Uh, we we tend to see all these things like people saying you saying things that you know the whole society is giving unnecessary attention to you just because you are from somewhere else. Mm-hmm. I mean, do, do, how, how 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 do you feel? Uh, you know, hearing all those. Maybe now I think it must be different. Mm-hmm. But uh, does it make anything to you? Does it mean anything to you? I mean, I mean, you, you you've been mm-hmm. you've you've been visiting like uh, places, you know. I, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, a few countries that you've mm-hmm. visited, and you must have had. This is not the first time that you mm-hmm. you have had all those kind of things. But does it make any difference to you? What does those things yeah. mean to you? <clears throat> I was living in Azerbaijan for one year, and um, there was also like whenever I go, people look, they just like. From the moment they see you, the moment they you like go the of the of, uh, how to say the corner, yeah, yeah. they will just look at you. So I uh, got used to attention. 
in the beginning here, that was a little bit difficult because I uh, became well-known very suddenly. Mm -hmm. It was just like this. Yeah. And I wasn't ready for amount of attention, honestly, to say. Um, and if people just looking at me because I'm being different, this is one thing. But when people know you exactly who you are, and like, I mean, it, going to shop and um, on the way, for example, like sometimes um, now it's now I think people got used to mm. no, no one cares anymore. Like, yeah. OK, <laughs> uh, but that was a moment when I'm just going to the shop 10 minutes and then uh, like uh, around 10 people will be like, Marina, hi, Ma hi, Marina, Marina, Marina. And I kind of, I, I didn't know how to react. Mm -hmm. I was very confused, mm -hmm. I would say, because sometimes I just wanted to be invisible because there's like so much attention mm -hmm. and I don't know how to react. Right. Like, how do I interact with these people? Or, uh, hi. And in the same time, I'm like, they know me also through Instagram. And in Instagram, I'm like, hey, good morning <laughs> and then they see me outside Marina and I'm like hi <laughs> the Russian yes yes face. yes <laughs> and, and, and I was like I'm like how, how should I react like hi by the way remember you saw my story like I'm like yeah. how should I react yeah, like true, true, true. what people do expect how mm. do I feel comfortable mm. And that was the moment when I literally refused to go out anymore. Because some people, they just say hi. Mm -hmm. Some people like, ah, speak, speak, kasi, speak, kasi. <laughs> I'm like, should I dance as well? <laughs> right after speaking kasi. <laughs> How like should I too. interact to you? <laughs> How should I entertain you? Just order. Should I sing the song? <laughs> like, I'm just, you know, dealing my business. Hey, speak Kasi. <laughs> so. Now speak Kasi. Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, this, I had, you know, I had some, some time to g get used to this attention. Because I think every single person, if you like, you were living your life just peacefully making your vlog. <laughs> And then suddenly, like, you're going out and everyone around knows you. Everyone around knows you. And uh, you don't know how to react. It's not because I'm, like, bad or good. It's just, like, I don't know what to do. Like, how to exactly yeah, yeah. react when everyone around knows you. But uh, after a while, I start to be more like, okay, it's okay. Like, hi. Mm. I don't, like, I don't have to do something special or not to do anything. It's just, like... And uh, besides that, it was kind of easier for me to understand that this is my audience in Instagram who we chat in every day, mm -hmm. in DM. So mm -hmm. this is my people. So like that. So, I mean, uh, how, how, how does it make you feel, I mean, being popular here? I mean, in, in, a, in a strange land, strange mm. place, in a fun country, yes. Is it still foreign to you? Do you feel foreign? Uh oh. -uh. I'm not, <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> I think I'll feel foreign when I'm coming back to Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be <beat me>, please. <laughs> but but seriously, how 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 does it feel? Mm. Um. I think I got used to this now. It's just uh, obviously I feel responsibility. Um, you know, I remember I wanted to be popular. I wanted mm -hmm. people to know me and, you know, like this, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just uploading videos, counting likes. Okay. Oh, I got a new comment. Oh, nice, nice, mm -hmm. nice. Oh, this is my friend. Oh, this is new person. Mm -hmm. You know, that excitement. But uh, then two weeks goes when everyone knows you and you're like very excited, like going here and there, like, Oh, they recognize me. What oh, is? And this is like so new, and this is like so exciting. They excited to see you, and then mm. you excited because they got excited. <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, then after some time, you don't know what to do anymore because it's attention like everywhere you go, mm. and um, 
And sometimes I can be not in a mood, no? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just, I'm not in a mood, I can't smile and people recognize me and I'm like, you know, I don't know, you know, anyway. Yeah, yeah. And, um, but uh, honestly, after some time, it just becomes like part of the life. Mm -hmm. You don't feel anything anymore. You don't feel excited. <clears throat> you don't feel not excited. You don't feel annoyed. It's just part of your life. And I was thinking that, you know, fame will do something, you know, like, okay, I want to be famous. Or what. Of course, it's like very locally, like people outside much don't even know me. So it's like only, you know, kind of local. Um, and I was thinking like it will bring something new to my life. It will <sighs> one or two weeks. And then you're like, okay. So that's how it feels and that's it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just like normal life. <laughs> right, right. So but, but what if... I, I don't know. I am <clears throat> not sure if you this is what you wanted to hear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's just like... I think the answer is you, you're getting adapted to... Yes, that yes. Life. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. You're getting adapted to everything. What if, um, mm. for example, you wake up tomorrow and there's no social media. What then? There is me. This is the most important. I am the whole world as you, as people who is watching us. Mm -hmm. I, I will know what to do. When something happens, the most important I have, it's me. Me, the skills I have, the, my heart and all, so it, it always will be with me. That one day I was, that, that was a moment when I was thinking, what will happen if, like, I don't know, something what I got used to mm -hmm. uh, will not be there? Like, even, like, social media. And I'm like, I have myself. And I will be okay. Fresh. What an answer. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, um, I, how, how, how much time have we taken for this? I don't know. But you know what we can do? One and a half. One and a half. Uh, what you know? What we can do? Yeah. What? Uh, you want to play some music? Music? Some Russian uh, music again? No, no, uh -huh. no. Okay. I, oh, wait, wait. I, one second, okay. Uh, I was thinking uh, that we can. Um, I think it's, one second, okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, speaking about cakes. Um, no, let's not speak about this for now. Not yet. Uh, <laughs> it's it's just right across the room. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take it? <laughs> you can say that I. Uh, you can say that I made a cake for you, but I just don't yes, want yes, to. Of course, of course, that that's there. You you brought here. Yeah. For what? For us to have no. I see, I see. Um. All right. So we have something. Um. Marina has something for us here. Let's just see. Um, is this the one that you post on the story yes, this morning? Today, yes. So like a piece of that. <laughs> yes. Oh, my, my. Yesterday, my husband and brother-in-law, oh, uh, my coach, and now your turn. <laughs> All right. Can, can we have a spoon? But we'll, we'll have to share. Otherwise, I might just swallow it all. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> you she know bakes. What? She bakes. Marina bakes. So th th This is a pie. Apple pie. Apple pie. Yeah, this is actually, that was a pumpkin pie, <sighs> um, the recipe. And then I just decided to exchange pumpkin with apple and see what, what happens. And this is what happened. You'll try it now. Mm, interesting. Yeah. So this is what you've been feeding your coach this morning? Huh? Yes, and my coach and my husband. But <laughs> my coach is having one uh, cheat meal in a week. Uh -huh. And then she's not allowing me to bring anything anymore. Uh, and I don't want to be, you know, kicked out of the gym <laughs> with my sweets. <laughs> but my husband doesn't have any restrictions, so he's gaining weight. Like <laughs> you having? No, no, no. I already had mine. Uh, this is just for you and me. I'll, I'll, just, ha I'll just have one uh, scoop of it and then... Oh, this is one of the Russian tradition. We never come to, like, to be guests with the empty hands. What is that I'm chewing? Um, apple? Apple, yes. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
that's very no. interesting <laughs> you no, know no. Yeah, well, well, whenever I, was, I, I, I wasn't <laughs> expecting to you know to, to to chew an apple actually i thought maybe it's everything you know mashed up into one thing uh, no this is the layer of the uh, dough and, and I, 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 I apple a- and then yeah. and then the and then dough again a little bit on top to oh. cover it up to what makes it pie it does Wow, is this so much more? Is it mm. is it too sweet? Because for me, it's a little bit too sweet. The rest said it's okay. Mm. I feel the um the apple actually, in, though it's sweet, but the apple gives that um that that oh, fruit that. taste that Flavor. new neutral thing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to be a master chef here. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Next uh will be I think you need also to try pumpkin pie. Because it's pumpkin like, pie? yeah yeah pumpkin is also very nice. I like to challenge myself because I'm not really a fan of pumpkin. Mm-hmm. I like to see. Yeah yeah yeah. I have some I have some people who didn't like pumpkin like they like it's a vegetable how you can put it in the cake but they did like it. Yeah, but that, anyway, that, never know. That's yeah. what's going through my head right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that that was just a short break. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> pie break, apple pie break. Yeah, you know what break. we can do? What? Uh, we start the video right mm-hmm. uh, with the short clips. Uh-huh. And you know when people reacting the best on what? When people see the kind of controversial things and conflicts and all. So we can yeah. fight right now, mm-hmm. like <laughs> pretend that fight, and then, and then cut, then <laughs> cut from this, and put in the <laughs> beginning, and people click will bait. watch because people bait. will be like, "Did they fight during podcast?" How do you want to fight? The Russian fight or the Indian fight? Yeah. Uh, I mean, not right. physical, <laughs> no. No, but the words. What kind of fight? I'll blame you that you you your questions are terrible. Mm-hmm. First of all, I don't know how you came up with these questions. Mm. I'm about to leave, literally. I'm leaving. Why should you leave? This is this is my podcast. You should you should stay. You I, I, I can't you, really be angry. Yeah? You ha- how, how do people be angry? You have to you have to insult in me somehow. <laughs> insult me. <laughs> how do I insult her? I am really bad, yeah. yeah. I'm really bad. <laughs> I need to help I, 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 you. I am trying to be angry. Wait, wait. Let me find a reason you to be can, angry you at can, Marina. You can blame me wait. of having two faces like you, different in reality, yeah. and then. But you <laughs> have to have a serious. Okay. Um. Da. All right. All right. Um. Come on. <laughs> What are the mean things that I can say about you? I Wait. don't know. You can say like I didn't expect that from you. Uh. I didn't expect that from you. Uh, how, how how do you want my uh, official expression to be? Angry, obviously. Angry. <clears throat> All right. I mean, ju- just read it from one to ten. Okay, if it's okay, then okay. If not, then I'll do it again. <laughs> <clears throat> You're an actor. Come on. Come on, yeah. You please. <laughs> yeah. That's how I you am, make content I'm not, interesting. I'm not, <laughs> not an actor. <laughs> All right. Uh, y- yes, yes, but that was with all of the preparation and everything. Now it's like, don't expect this. <laughs> Can you really, be serious? I can't really. Wait, 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 wait. Um, um, I didn't expect this from you. I didn't expect this from you. I, I, I didn't expect this from you, Marina. And what did you want me to say? Wait. Yeah, yeah, Are you getting yeah, my Russian wife? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you getting, you getting me there. Oh wait, wait. Um, wait. Um, mm. let me take a deep breath and then say, um, I didn't expect this from you. And then what, what would, what would you say? You can blame me that I have two faces, like that. Apparently, in a real I life, I am. I can't really do this, man. I thought I was an actor, but I'm. Wait. Um. All right. Like. That you add really angry at me, like right. imagine that right now we had like mm. we're having a fight, a we fight. have misunderstanding. Yes. Like what is that? <clears throat> For the content, All right? You can do this. We'll All shake right. hands later. 
<laughs> Come on. Uh, you, 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 you are a good actor in this, yeah? I thought I'm a good actor, but I'm not. All right. Don't look at me like that, yeah? Can you help me? Wait. Wait. Oh, please come fetch your wife. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. One, two, three. Uh, okay, I can. I can. Why? Why not? All right. Just few phrases, no? I'm trying to fight with a Russian here. Okay. Okay, we'll put that in the trailer. Come on. Let's yes. <clears throat> ah. <sighs> I didn't expect this from you, Marina. Are you serious? Of course. Yeah. I, I, I see two faces here. You, you're not really you in your social media. I, you blaming me to having two faces? I'm not blaming. I'm seeing it right now, and the whole world is seeing it right now. You know what? I'm done. Yeah, please be my guest. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, Vietnam, Vietnam, yeah, right. Oh, that was good. That was content right there. Yes. No. If you want to, if you want to sell your content, you do that. <laughs> This is the perfect example, guys. How you need to think of the things what will hook people' attention. And if you see <laughs> till this part, it means that we hooked you. <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness! Now I'm getting the Russian vibe. Now, if I go to Russian, that's that's the kind of vibe that I'm. Yeah, that you I'm can take get. few more classes from yeah. me, like to, how to get this. Hey, you know. and, and how 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 did Kinti adjust? He did, did he uh, visit? He visited, uh, you know, uh, no, Russia. No, no, uh, he visited yes once. I I did tell him to not smile. He he <laughs> did find it very <laughs> difficult. <laughs> yeah, because if if people around me don't smile, then what yeah. would I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if I make others smile instead? That would be nice. Yeah, that actually, like, I'm sharing about this as, um, you know, um, in general. Mm -hmm. But in the same time, whenever I like come in to, you know, buy stuff, mm -hmm. and there's like person who I see, for example, like, for the fifth time, I can mm -hmm. make conversation and I can smile and we can laugh about Have something. And all that. So it's like not necessary mm -hmm. that. Russian, Russian, don't laugh, don't smile at all. <laughs> so, this is a question that I have for you. You've been here. People have heard your stories multiple times, uh, and also they they see you every day through your stories, your reels, your vlogs, and everything that you do. Um, if not through you, but through your husband and. Uh, maybe in your family, in your locality. Um, I mean, I believe that people know you by now, not just uh, a so-called social media worker. <laughs> <laughs> It will never, but, uh, will not be funny. <laughs> It's always but, gonna be funny. <laughs> but also, but also as a as 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 a wife of uh, Mr. Kinteo, maybe as a daughter-in-law, and uh, as as a <clears throat> as a resident of your locality and your village. All this while that you've been here, your Yushnong, Pongkong, and all that, <laughs> and uh, all this while we've been here, you are, if I can say, if I can just put this, allow me, you are an expert in your field, um, and doing what you love to do, which is social media. One hundred percent. What is exactly that you would want to do for our people here, like right now? I have a big dream. Mm -hmm. to help people to understand and um, help them to see how they can use social media as a tool for their growth, whatever they do. Mm -hmm. uh, or influencers or content creators or uh, to promote their business. Because mm -hmm. I feel pain. I feel, you know, kind of there's so much missed opportunities Mm -hmm. When I see even people have account on Instagram, mm -hmm. but I'm like, you can you add this, 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 this. You can make these few points, and you'll start getting customers. You'll start getting loyal, uh, loyal uh, clients. Mm -hmm. Why are you not doing this? So, and in my heart, I think for the last year, I just keep. Sometimes you know we're dreaming, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I just like find myself dreaming about like. 
teaching people how to do this, helping them to understand all potential, mm -hmm. huge potential of social media. So this is my thing, what I really dream about. So um, uh, these, uh, uh, these help that you have received and maybe the things that you've learned when you mentioned about your um, uh, Russian bloggers mm -hmm. and all that, uh, how did you learn all those? Is it through following or is, it, is there any kind of interaction that you've had with them or any kind of uh, training that you have to go through or a paid mm -hmm. kind of a thing? Or how, how, how do you learn or how do you observe these people that, that you could learn something from them? Uh, there is um, um, a lot of uh, courses where people are giving courses and uh, they're sharing like tools, they're sharing tricks, how mm -hmm. to actually make people watch. Because like even when we watch movie, right, mm -hmm. there's movies which we will happily watch from the beginning to the end <laughs> because they know how to hook up our attention. Just they, like this podcast? Yes, just like this podcast. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, um, uh, and there's some movies which can be the great story behind, mm -hmm. but the way how they give it, people will not watch. Mm -hmm. So the same with Instagram as well. You can have the great life, <clears throat> great stories to share, but you don't know how to do this and people will not watch. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, we have a lot of courses in Russia I was experimenting a lot by myself, like looking at statistic, looking how I feel, looking how people react. Also, I I did take uh, consultations with the uh, people who is like like professional experts on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So I was asking, what about my strategy? How do I do this? Mm -hmm. So I was um, in, if <coughs> investing money that I want in, I was investing in that one. Mm -hmm. Like, do understand how it works. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, which means, technically speaking, um, you invested um, over two years to be where you are right now. Yes, 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 yes. I think, yeah, overall would be about three years. Mm -hmm. I'm with, a with blogger. The, yes, yeah. yes, yes, when I started. <clears throat> so, um, uh, uh, I'm happy to announce here with your permission, Komarina, I'm happy to announce here that um, um, Kong Marina will be um, coming up with this. Um, there's this training which is um, which is being introduced here for our people here. And uh, Marina is working on it because she is part of this training. Uh, hopefully I am too. And, uh, <laughs> and um, uh, I, 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 I think this... Uh, this is very important, like you said. Uh, it, it is very important to share knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's important to share what uh, we have learned, maybe in giving all, back. yeah, in in giving back. So um, it would be, uh, it would be, you know, it would be a a blessing. It would be great for people learn what we've learned, what you've learned in all these years. My Instagram account is like really, it's it's kind of messy. Uh, but uh, I have a question for you regarding my account. Anyway, I'll, I'll come to that. But um, I, I feel like it is important for us to 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 give back to you know to, um, not really just giving back, but also to 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 share this knowledge that we have learned. You know that you have learned and all that. And, <coughs> and you know what? Uh, all this while, um, from even from my uh, YouTube videos, the comment the comment sections and all that. Uh, I have had all these uh, comments asking that, can you please uh, teach me how to do YouTube videos and this and that. Uh, I've I've tried, I've tried, um, I think uh, I've tried three to four videos, which, mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of a step-by-step -step, uh, tutorial, how you can create your account, Gmail account and all that. But at the end of the day, it was very time-consuming. And on top of that, uh, uh, like I mentioned earlier, this is this was never my full time work, and <clears throat> in doing so, in providing all these necessary uh, instructions and uh, this knowledge that I've gained uh, in the past few years, it's 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 a bit uh, you know uh, heavy for me, mm -hmm. you know, to do it all by myself and then 
uh, give it to all the people out there do i really wanted to but most of them uh, most of these uh, videos they don't really pick up because why there's just a bunch of people who who are really interested in mm-hmm. those so not everyone who watches video uh, on youtube wants to be youtuber yes. it's it's more like that so um uh, Uh, so I I I I started I I tried for two or three or four videos and then I stopped. Mm-hmm. So um and then I I kind of uh, focus on creating content, learning myself and learning it more and trying to be <clears throat> more creative so that I can learn more. So that's how I kind of like you know trying to keep myself away from mm-hmm. teaching. Not that I don't want, but it's just that you know it's not the time yet. So mm-hmm. I feel like uh, from what you are trying to uh, put in front of people right now, mm-hmm. the, the kind of courses that you are that you wanted to be, uh, you know, you wanted to introduce to the people. I think this will really help the people. And uh, I, I would like to um, uh, make this um, uh, announcement. Allow me uh, for the people out there, for all those uh, for all our viewers out there who uh, who has a, a YouTube account or maybe uh, an Instagram account, a YouTube channel, but <clears throat> uh but really um kind of lost in the middle of trying uh, of um making your content work making your account work and selling things if you are business uh, uh oriented person an entrepreneur or maybe a um you know anything that you do online that you feel like yes being in the internet space is important for me i think it is uh it is good news for you it is great news for you that um uh there's this uh, there's this organization who is coming out with a uh training program where marina will be part of that and more details will be announced soon uh just hit kong marina uh, on her dm and uh, just follow her on her instagram she'll be able to explain more about it <coughs> and uh, most of all uh, this will be very limited uh, seats are very limited to, uh, i i'm not sure it has not I, i'm i'm not really aware about all the details about it but kongwarina will be able to share more of these uh, these um, uh, of the details of this uh, program and uh, i want you to just follow kongwarina and also follow me also i'll be able to put in some information mm-hmm. regarding this so that it'll be helpful for you helpful for everyone mm-hmm. out there yeah our idea is to uh, we have a we have a big <coughs> experience in social media uh more than eight years total experience mm-hmm. we did try so many things we understood what works how it works mm-hmm. and we want to put it in a one kind of one seminar mm-hmm. for people to understand and uh, be able to avoid all this three, four, five years um, journey mm-hmm. and pick up right away our experience right there. Uh, Instagram will grow even bigger. I saw this already before in Russia <laughs> when it was small and then some people believed in this. They enroll, they start investing their time, their... Um, energy and now they all are big uh bloggers they have business how they can promote because they they went you know in the first wave when it started to popular mm. and i see that even now <laughs> here it start to get popular and it's only mm. growing so this wow. is the time to start because you will be growing alone with that wave later we also will be there but people who will start growing now mm. it will be much bigger then people who will join like 2 3 5 years ago it's growing right now you can mm. ignore it or you can join it because it will grow whatever you like it or not whatever mm. you want to go with this or not it will grow and you can just grow with this mm. and get your like do not miss your opportunities this is important uh, because well, one thing is very important also is because all this while all these years that uh, you've invested or i've invested are full of mistakes and things that we have done Fails. and we failed miserably and we failed in so many ways and it it, it did get, got us here but you know somehow but it, 
it was all you know with with mistakes with all the things that it was the hard way we learned it the hard way yes. and we had to invest all of our time up our talent our money and everything not knowing where exactly to exactly. go exactly <laughs> and and we had nobody to teach us nobody mm. to guide us and uh, we we didn't really know how much to charge people for promotion i mean as bad as that you know so so it's 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 a bit confusing uh, it's a bit confusing at the very beginning and uh, there are a few uh, of our friends maybe of our young friends or older friends who have started uh, doing um, you know to started your journey uh, in the internet space and you have picked up your views you have picked up uh, you know the the analytics and all that but you really don't know how to take it forward maybe uh, we will be here to help you and uh, like i said this will be a uh, this will be a workshop uh, for all the uh, you know the 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 uh, you know want to be content creators out there yeah people uh, who want to be serious about yes, this who consider serious. it as a thing where you can grow and earn also yeah well. right so so p- please leave a comment down this in the comment section below um so th- this is in a in a very nascent stage we will be announcing soon uh regarding the dates and everything that we uh, wish to offer to the people but uh, do drop us in the comment section what would you like to learn what would you like to hear what would you like um to uh you know to to learn about uh, when it comes to social media instagram or youtube if you want to be a social media worker <laughs> just like us <laughs> yes or uh, let me just put it this put this in kasi nga shuka ban ban batai ni knat na banta jong ki parlok jong ki bujo pet nga por ka por ye kani ka banging ya nga shna content kum ni la ka long nang ni na ka channel jong i la ni la ka channel jong i kong berina na ka account jong i be don la ni na ka personal channel jong a ber ki ki ru ki banga ngai don benta ti la de pi ba kani ka long ka don kam la ke ke ba pi pi kwa ban nang la ni ban kwa ban nang ban sha hi kai la ni ba in yo ban ai lang ye ka jing hi kai sha pi ban ya sam lang ye ta ka jing tip ki jing nang sha pi nga kwa pi pin ya ai ha comment section ha po pi smo kum no lor kani ke ke ba pi pi kwa ban nang ni ban yo jing hi kai Nampak bagi bubun bah, bagi belawan sanga, bagi bakuwa ban tip eh halor kene. Tiada yang ngamsem lah ban le bah halor kata nampak bagi duna bah, bagi bagi bakuwa ban tip halor kene. Tiada bermut nak kuman cuang lomon nak kini ki silak prapo hajar ngut eh kibri eh kibaju subscribe kini ke channel ke jonga. Kita don tang kenyat eh kibah, kibah bakuwa le se tang live post of hongut. Tiada junjar bah bangangan ipor. Thik pa thik ban ban ay ban hikay ban ban hikay ha kata karukam. Wala kataro nga layo ha ki babun ki bintang, layo ban ay gini ki jing hikay ha ki program ki wala pulong na kasor karbat ki way. Ti hindray, ha kani ki ba minta na kaliang jong i marina bat ka lingba jong kani ki way ka organization ka ba dan hang ni ka ba ki thmu ban wan ra ya kani ki jing hikay na banta ka social media bat kumnu pila ban pinan kam ya ka bakal long ka jing bintoy ya pi ya ke business ke jong phi la ni ya ke nu nu ke phi thmu ban le link by social media te ka ka sis ka long very limited te yamanta pat don detail a a bha te re ngi kwa pat ban yo su na phi ke e ba phi phi khmi lenti but shen hi da hakini ki hakini si ban wan le se on sapen tip on sapen bana ya ki date but quick way te phila ban follow i komarina ha ka page ke jong i le phila on follow yang aru le ni ni po hash long ring sa ai ki te ki jing tip ki ban kam Kenang bapih pila ban ban ya dan bentar pergi hakan ni ke programmu. Te ya so I was saying earlier my Instagram account is quite messy. It's all over the place. I I'm I'm pretty sure you must have gone through my Instagram account. So what is one thing that you would change? You know. Uh, my Instagram account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can take a look. Yes, uh, let me right just now. open it. Yeah. Examination. And hey! see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> see, uh, because uh, yeah, um, I, I haven't um, been handling my account mm-hmm. so well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was just trying to push content right now, so that's my intention right now. So I'm. It's mm-hmm. kind of messy. It's all over the place. So, mm-hmm. what would you change if there's one thing to change in my account? What would that be? Uh, I would uh, change the bio. All right. 
Yes, because um, uh, this is the quote, which is really nice, mm -hmm. which is really true. Take pleasure in being alive. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is doesn't tell anything to people who come into your Instagram account. Mm -hmm. They see the person, they see the squad, mm -hmm. and what what should they understand out of this, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's why I would put some some words, mm -hmm. like some, um, how to say, the keywords. Bullet points. Yeah, which is explaining you and show your uniqueness. Mm -hmm. Because every one of us are like is unique. Mm -hmm. Uh, which also will, would include the whole like purpose mm -hmm. idea of your um, Instagram account. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. So um, I'll change my bio. Yes, that that's very important. For example, like what what would you what would you say uh, the how different you are from others? Mm -hmm. Like what would be that? Like uh, let's let's see mine. Okay. Here I'm reading Marina Karbani, Russian in India. Mm -hmm. So right away people understand that I'm Russian. Mm. I'm not local. I'm Russian and I'm in India. Mm -hmm. I'm based in Shillong. Mm. I'm married to a Kasi. Mm. I'm exploring India and lifestyle blogger. So they can kind of know what they can expect to see mm -hmm. here. And from Baya itself, they will decide if they want to follow or not. I think I should write Farin and Rani Kasi Lenang. Meaning? Meaning, um, fun and runny, over smart kasi. <laughs> <laughs> it can be like this also. Like you can, you can write something like, "I'm smarter than you." I'll prove it here. <laughs> something controversial also. So, like, okay, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and people will be yeah. like, "What do you mean, is smart?" Yeah, okay, yeah, let yeah, me yeah, see yeah. his reels. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that should be good, right? Yes, yes. Like few points. Uh -huh. Something can be very like funny. Something what people would be like, what did he mean? They will start uh. thinking, no, this is the moment when you hook person. When they uh. look at your bio and they start thinking like, what is that? Like, mm. what What do you mean? I I really like that there was Russian, Russian uh, blogger. Mm. Uh, his uh, pictures are very beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, he's kind of, you know, that making nice. it as a f photographer, like so nice in a beautiful place and a good like outfit, mm -hmm. like very beautiful. And then uh, in his stories, he's very funny. Mm -hmm. Like he's always doing like some like so like stupid things. He's uh, he's. Like I don't know he, his personality is like like this, no? <laughs> and and he's like the beautiful picture in profile and that like you know funny reality in stories <laughs> <laughs> and that's how people they see and they're like okay mm -hmm. or there is an, another blogger she's like uh the name and there's like i'm uh, i'm pushing up more than your boyfriend like because she's uh, going to gym no uh, and she's like right. i can do more push up than mm. your boyfriend it hooks people yes that yes way. that's how and in my profile for quite some time, I did keep it this one that um, you'll get hooked to my stories because I was uploading a lot of stories. Mm -hmm. People would text me every time like, oh, I'm watching your stories like a serial, like I'm waiting for your stories. If I don't upload two, three days, they're like, oh, why are you not uploading stories? Mm -hmm. Like everything okay? Like where are you? We're missing mm -hmm. you. And I'm like, that's a good point. So mm -hmm. I'm like, you'll get hooked to my stories. That's how person is... Uh, entering my account, see like you get home to my stories. Okay, what's the stories? Mm. Watching, already getting my vibe, getting my energy, and I was like, oh, that's my. Or like, ah, no, it's not mine. Then just miss. I'm like, oh no, I like this girl. I like her energy. Follow. That's how. And then here's like uh, when we take pleasure in being alive. There's not. There's no you. There's no unique style. No, it should be there. All right. I hope okay. I, I hope okay. I gave, gave you some motivation. Yes. No? Yes. yes. Be you are. Motivated. You are. And I <laughs> feel it. I'm feeling it now. Yeah. The, the very first thing I'm gonna change when I reach home is my bio. Yes. 
May you check my bio tomorrow morning and it should be changed. Yes, I will check. I will check. Provided my wife no, no, allow no, me no. to touch my phone tonight. No, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me record. Okay, I I will record the proof. Uh, right now, during the podcast, Scott Freeman <laughs> promised that once he'll get him back home, he will change bio in his Instagram. And tomorrow morning we will check. <laughs> okay, now everything is official. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! You're putting a lot of pressure on me right now. <laughs> What to do? That was your words, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's see. I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> so anyway, okay. I think um, we we we've covered almost everything. Um, no, we only started, but no time anymore. Anyway. <laughs> yes. Yes. At least we, we've covered the name of the topics that we wanted to to speak about, <laughs> to talk about. But yes, uh, we um, we will have to rush because um, Komarina here uh, has a husband at home who is eagerly waiting for her, and uh, we we can't keep her uh, too long here. Otherwise, I'll get phone calls. Yeah, I'll get phone calls from her husband. But uh, Komarina, um, uh, till date, uh, f- from all the places that you've been, you know, um, I'm not sure where, but what is uh, what is the unique thing that you learned about human beings? You know, you're from Russia. You are here. You are. I'm pretty sure. How 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 many countries have you visited so far? Uh, seven or eight. Seven or eight. So my question is, you know, when you go to these places, you see people, you know. So, what is there? What well, what is like? You know, to be with different people out there, to be like, you know, to to be. You you have you have. My goodness, where's my question? <laughs> Wait. I mean, well, already well, went home. Well, <laughs> 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 what I mean to say is, people. Uh, what is the most interesting thing about people, about human beings? Human being overall. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, I think the what I learned that eventually, even though we're so different, uh sometimes not understanding each other. Um, in the end of the day, we're we're not that different. We're the same. We want the same things. We want to be loved. We want to be. Um, we want people to understand us. Uh, we want good relationship, you know. And um, recently, what I what I realized about people overall that um, every one of us is. Um, I know it's. It will sound like very. Uh, ca- casual maybe, but every one of us are so unique. And uh, sometimes people are trying to, if they see someone being successful in something, and they trying to repeat. Uh, but for example, that person is successful because he is uh, being himself. He's revealing himself that uniqueness, which you can't possibly repeat. And then some people see that uniqueness. They see that people are growing, and they're like, "Okay, I'll be the same." But they failing in, in this repetition because they can't repeat uniqueness of another yeah, person. Exactly. So they failing. They feeling so bad about this. They feel that I am a failure. I can't do anything. Mm-hmm. Instead of just look at yourself and see, like, okay. Who am I? Like you said, who is Marina Kurbani? No? Mm-hmm. Who are you? Like, who am I? What is my uniqueness? What I can bring to the world, mm-hmm. which no one can bring anymore. And then just carry on with that, because it's beautiful. Because it's beautiful. Everyone can bring different things. I was thinking, um, for me. I really admire uh, people who could, you know, start some work and carry on like for five, ten, fifteen, twenty years. And I'm like, why am I like this? I'm shifting from one to another, for the third one, and everything is interesting for me. I don't know. I think I did change over twenty jobs in my life. I think more than twenty, twenty-five maybe jobs. And I'm like, why am I like that? Why I can't stay? And now I understand. Now I'm content creator. 
mm-hmm. and I'm doing so much work, different, different works, and I'm enjoying because it's different. And I was trying to feed like because like I saw that people are getting somewhere because they've been like did it, it for twenty years doing mm-hmm. the same. So I I would say that maybe it's not exactly what you ask, mm-hmm. but for me it's very important. So people who uh, listen to us would stop copying uniqueness of other people because they will fail. They will not be able. God created everyone is like what every one of us can bring to this world. <clears throat> this is what God wants to bring to this world through each one of us. Right. It's like, a, you know, like God is like just, just using uh, us as y- channels. Yes, 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 yes. And if I'm blocking myself trying to pick up, I'm not showing that God's beauty. I'm not showing anymore. I I fail. This is the worst thing. Yeah, you you answered the question. My questions. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> my <you're>... so <laughs> indirect questions. <laughs> Because I feel like you ask somewhere here and I answer somewhere you know like here. And, and, and then we and we meet in between. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Like two content creators. <laughs> my goodness. Oh my god. Anyway, so uh, I think we'll, we will conclude with this. Uh, what would you like to um, to say to our viewers out there? Anything at all? Anything at all? I would say people don't give up that fast. I a little bit mentioned this before, um, but I would love to go to this, you know, a little bit to this side. That sometimes people just, um, or they try, don't try at all because they're scared, or they try, but uh, they try one times and then they fail and they just they stop. They're not trying anymore. I just want to inspire people to not be scared of mistakes. Mistakes are not scary at all. Um, there was one um, a billionaire who I'm watching. I'm he's really inspiring to me that Russian billionaire and he said if I would have to make the school for billionaires uh that my first um task for people would be to go and get 100 no from people because you need to uh get used to word no and you need to get used to feeling of fail there's nothing scary about this there's nothing dangerous about this but whilst you like get used to failing or word no you're not scared anymore and you just get continue 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 why some people are being successful not because they are lucky but just because they're not st- they don't stop when they're failing that's the difference that's the only difference so don't give up yes yes Don't give up. I will also not give up on changing my profile. <laughs> Change it now. Me and my followers will watch you. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for your time. And uh, I've had uh, a good time. A great time, yeah. in fact. And um, if you're new uh, to this channel, uh, consider yourself to subscribe. Because there are a lot of things that we bring to you from this channel. And we also have uh, another channel uh, called Hash Long Clips, where we... Put in all these uh, short clips of ours uh, from the main podcast here. So there will be topics like um, whatever topics that we've uh, uh, with my bad English. Yeah, <laughs> come on, yeah. English is not a first language, not yours, not mine. So who cares? Jani tau, dap shatau, like we say in Kasi. <laughs> Can you say dap shatau? Dap shatau. Dap shatau. Diap shatto. No, diap. Diap shatto. Diap shatto. Oh, it's like. <laughs> no. Who cares? <laughs> oh, oh. Diap shatto. Diap shatto. Yeah. Let it be. Oh yeah. Let it be. Yeah. Let it be. Diap shatto. So, uh, yeah. So, um, anyway, uh, so uh, we have this, uh, this another channel, Hash Long Clips, where we we put all these um, uh, snippets of the main uh, podcast. You can also subscribe. Uh, that channel, uh, and you will be um, you will be notified every time we put in another video or a new video there. So uh, this is Hush Long Talk of the Town season two and episode one. 
Thank you so much, Marina. And thank you Please so shibun. much for everyone who um, who are watching till the end, till the very end. Oh, uh, uh, write in the comments if you did watch till the end. Respect. Yes, yes. You have a strong... <laughs> <laughs> right. And... Um, um, wait, 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 wait. Oh, yes. Now, just like all the ladies and all the people who have met Marina back in the days who say this, I will also say to Marina right now, speak kasi. <laughs> <laughs> now it's my turn. Uh, you guys said it, now it's my turn. I'll speak off camera. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it shy. <laughs> oh, no, come on, yeah. I mean, how, how many words have you learned so far? Oh, I can say, uh, um, I done ya. <laughs> I um so sao. I so sao at likji. <laughs> then and? I'll say shim when it's money. Uh huh. You put me on the spot. <laughs> like, <laughs> honestly, I can speak much better. You ask shopkeepers around our house; uh -huh. they'll tell you the truth. Yeah. Uh, uh, I because I'm not under pressure. No, uh -huh, uh -huh. right now, now you only you, hear. You feel you, you feel under pressure now. Yes. Let's uh, just imagine I'm Shop. just imagine I'm a shopkeeper, <laughs> and this is sosa and this is pan. <laughs> so, <laughs> how much would you ask, and what would you ask from me? <laughs> Kong pi kwai you? Nga kwa so sao shikilo. Shikilo. But pan way. What? I forgot. Nga nai pi tong so sao. Pan nga nung mai. Kwa ka nung pan. Pan. I forgot this. Uh, what do we, what do we call? Then that? you have to go home empty-handed. Two hundred fifty. Oh, you say I forgot. Ars pa? No, 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 no. Uh, two hundred fifty grams. We uh, oh, have. two fifty. Oh, she pa wa. You see, I use it. I use this power more than anything. It's under pressure. I forgot everything. So we pick what? People will please, please, please. I'm, so I'm, I'm asking you, don't write hate comments. Okay. I <laughs> don't allow you to write comments now, hate comments now, because I'm under pressure. You are in front of a vegetable vendor right now. <laughs> You're not. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I'm in a car. Uh, pick what? So 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 What do you fancy for? <laughs> anyway, that was a good one. But anyway, you are, you are learning. This because that, yeah. that, because that's how people will throw the <laughs> so sour at me. Because like, she's here already for two and a half years. Can't even say she, she it's okay. power. I, I, come on, yeah. I mean, how can I expect to learn Russian? You know, going there. At least a word or two, of course. Like, spasiba, like you said. Yes. I mean, a word or two, like kubre <laughs> shibun. But come on, yeah. Me going there and then asking for vegetables and... From ve from the vendors. I think you're learning fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And actually, like, uh, even English. You yeah, said, exactly. You learn from like right from childhood. Right? Yeah, then, I started when I was 25. We are speaking now First. in English. <laughs> yeah, you, we are yes, conversing yes. in English like, fluently. <laughs> it's good. I mean, it's exactly not bad. somehow. So, so uh, people who are, who are who are trying to troll you or us for speaking in English, they should know that English is not a first language, and we are trying our Our best, our best, our sweat, our blood, our everything in here to speak in good English for people to understand. <laughs> Otherwise, we would have, have spoken in request. Russian. Eh? <laughs> Please understand. One simple request. <laughs> What? <laughs> What? We have water. You want to speak in Russian? A Russian accent. A Russian accent. I didn't know that, that people are scared that? of Russian accent. What? Vodka. Vodka. This could be. Uh, <laughs> So subscribe <laughs> to Hashalong. Subscribe, subscribe, follow, like for the Russian uh, podcast. <laughs> like, this is, we this didn't is, drink anything, but we actually like Russian <laughs> podcast. We are, we are drinking water, not vodka. I right? hope you'll cut this. Possible. <laughs> 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 we didn't anyway, drink even. Yes, thank you, thank you so much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button and please 
follow her on uh, her Instagram account and also check out her vlogs, her YouTube channel. See you with in my stories. 200, over 200 subscribers on YouTube and uh, 85,000 ish uh, followers on Instagram. And yeah, just go to her stories and you'll see like a series of Russian. <laughs> Uh, a Russian series on stories. <laughs> we will ah, never, we'll never so finish nice. <laughs> this podcast. Okay. Never, ever. <laughs> okay, let's end it here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you. Got some wipe, like, you know, like, because we're friends, no? Then that we <laughs> sometimes forget in that one podcast. <laughs> just like... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. See you Thank soon. You. Спасибо. До свидания. До свидания. Пока-пока. <laughs> All right, like it. <laughs>